Hi friends, welcome to KMAT Gates Education. Let's see the first question. The question given is a series RLC circuit has a resistance of 10 ohms and sorry a resistance of a series RLC circuit having a resistance of 4 ohms and I have an inductance EL and I have a capacitance C 2 farads. Okay. He asked the value of the inductance L if it is a critically damped. If it is a critically damped. Here if I have a supply voltage V of T, I have a response I of T. We know from the control system the transfer function is nothing but Laplace transform of response to the Laplace transform of input. Here, what is the input? V of T. What is the response? I of T. So, I want to find I of S yes, by V of S. If I found this, I get the transfer function. Okay. And he said that the circuit is a critically damped. So, it is a second order circuit. The series RLC circuit is a second order circuit. We know from the control system, the standard second order transfer function is C of S by R of S equal to omega n square plus s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. The complete second order system is analyzed by this damping factor. This damping factor. If at all zeta equal to 0, it is undamped system. It is undamped system. You have the response having the constant amplitude frequency of oscillation okay if zeta equal to zero poles lies on imaginary axis which are not repeated okay and you have zero less than zeta less than one it is under damped system it is under damped system okay you have the response like this you have the response uh, like this okay damped oscillations the pole locations are lies on left top of s plane that took complex conjugate zeta equal to one it is a critically damped okay you have a one damped oscillation you have one damped oscillation for this you have the poles lies on real and real axis and have an equal magnitude a zeta greater than 1, it is a over damped system. You have two poles, one pole towards imaginary axis, one pole away from the imaginary axis. It is also a one damped oscillation. Okay, one damped oscillation. This is called a dominant pole or significant pole. This is insignificant pole. Okay, so this is significant pole. This is insignificant pole. Let convert this series RL circuit to the standard second order system. Apply KVL here minus V of S plus I of S into R plus SL plus 1 by SC. I of S by equal to SC R plus S square LC plus 1 by SC that equal to V of S. V of I of S by V of S equal to SC. If I take LC common, I have S square plus SRC by LC by 1 by lc okay cc cancel okay cc cancel let compare 
let compare this denominator standard second order denominator to this denominator check it compare this okay so compare this so 2 zeta omega n equal to r by l here cc cancel and omega n square equal to lc 1 by lc okay so from this you can see here omega n equal to 1 by root of 2l omega n equal to 1 by 2l for critically damped system zeta equal to 1 so 2 into omega n is 1 by root 2l that equal to r by l what is the value of the r this is 4 these two twos okay so if i square it if i square it 1 by 2l that equal to 4 by l square so here l l cancel l equal to 8 henry so answer is 8 henry okay so here one uh, one thing you have to observe you see here the denominator you see here the denominator is s square denominator is s square plus r by l into s plus 1 by lc 1 by lc for series or lc circuit for series or lc circuit for series or lc circuit at resonance at resonance at resonance what is bandwidth bandwidth equal to r by r r by l what is the resonant frequency 1 by root lc 1 by root lc you know very well about that at series for series or else a circuit at resonance bandwidth equal to r by l omega naught equal to 1 by root lc okay so you see here this is a bandwidth this is a bandwidth and this is of resonant frequency omega naught square okay so in this if we ask the question this r by l is a in this denominator in this uh, transfer function if it uh, if at all resonance series or else circuit is at resonance this is a bandwidth or resonant frequency he will ask okay so this directly so if we, if we given directly the denominator of the transfer function so what is the bandwidth okay so he directly given the second order system so omega n square plus uh, uh, s square plus 2 zeta omega n omega n s plus omega n square in this form okay for series or else a circuit what is the bandwidth bandwidth is a 2 zeta omega n what is a resonant frequency resonant frequency is a omega n square omega n square is a resonant frequency so kindly observe this kindly observe this okay so you know very well at series resonance bandwidth bandwidth is also known as bandwidth you can write as omega naught by quality factor so how it came means bandwidth equal to omega naught by quality factor omega naught equal to 1 by root lc quality factor equal to 1 by root of l by c for series or lc circuit so i can write this as 1 by root lc root lc into into r into root c by root l so root c here root c cancel root l into root l is l so bandwidth is r by l bandwidth is r by l so kindly remember this if you have a given the in question if you have given the question uh, having the resistance and l l value and r value is given what is the bandwidth it is a r by l let's see the next question so here a 12 volt automobile battery is connected to a a 12 volt here it is given as 
a 12 volt uh, automobile battery is connected to a 5 ampere headlight 5 ampere headlight energy consumed in 1 hour operation energy consumed in 1 hour operation so we know that we know that power equal to power equal to time rate of flow of electrical energy time rate of flow of electrical energy so energy equal to power into time so i want to find the power so power equal to 12 volts and the 5 ampere is give, going to this lamp 5 ampere is going through this lamp so 12 into 5 into time is 1 hour energy consumed in 1 hour so 12 5 is 60 60 okay into 1 so answer is you get to get 60 joules 60 joules answer is uh, none first you put the tick mark the here for uh, i put the tick mark and come out of the exam after seeing that key then it will be wrong so here what is the power unit what is the unit of the power what is the unit of the power joules what is the unit of the power joules per second joules per second or watts joules per second or watts okay joules per second or watts okay so this time is in seconds this time is in second so the energy consumed in one hour so 12 into 5 into one hour means 60 minutes so i can write 12 into 5 into 60 into one minute equal to 60 seconds 60 so 12 fives are 60 six six are thirty six uh, so six six thirty six uh, six three say eighteen eighteen to twenty one so two sixteen something kilojoules should be there so answer is two sixteen kilojoules so unit units will be very important in calculating the problems okay if you consider if you consider this as ours if you consider this as our then we directly go to the option uh, none but the unit is in seconds joules per second unit of the power is joules per second joules per second okay so next let's see the next question so let's see the next question here in the circuit shown below 5 ampere source supplies no power here one hint is given the hint given here is the 5 ampere source the 5 uh, the hint here is the 5 ampere source the 5 ampere source supplies no power supplies no power power equal to v into i so let i have a voltage here plus or minus v here so power supplied by the 5 amperes is zero that is voltage into 5 equal to zero voltage equal to zero that means here the node voltage is zero so indirectly he is given that node voltage equal to zero simply i recircuit read on the circuit such that plus or minus 30 volts here i have three ohms here i have two ohms simply this is a short circuit I have a 5 amperes and I have 8 ohms here and uh, this is a plus or minus Vs. I have a 6 ohm here. Apply nodal analysis here. If I apply nodal analysis 0 minus 30 by 5 plus minus current entering 5 amperes 0 minus uh, vs by 14 equal to 0 so minus 30 by 5 minus 5 vs by 14 5 5 is 25 25 plus 30 55 so minus 55 by 5 
equal to Vs by 14. Whether I am right, 5 5 is 25, 25 plus 30 is 55, 55, so I get 5 11. So 14 into 11, that equal to 14, 14, 154. So I will get minus 154. Answer is minus 154 is the answer. Let's see the next question. Let's see the next question. Consider the network which consists of the resistors and voltage source. If the values of the volt all voltage source are doubled, then the value of the mass currents what happened? Okay, apply superposition theorem. Apply superposition here. If you apply the superposition, if you apply the superposition theorem, if the voltage uh, here two conditions is satisfied one is linearity and homogeneity so we know very about that for uh, for superposition theorem two conditions must be holds that is a linearity condition and homogeneity so what is homogeneity what is homogeneity means if excitation is multiplied by a constant k then the response is also multiplied by a constant k for example for example let's see this for example let's see this uh let i have two volts here one ohm here i have one ohm here i have one ohm here let's take okay so what is the current now 11.5 one 11.5 let's take this is a 0.5 ohms let's take this as a 0.5 ohm okay let so 11 is parallel 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 one so you get 2 by 1 that equal to 1 ampere 11.5 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1 okay resistance is 1 i equal to v by r V equal to I R, I equal to V by R, 2 by 1 is, sorry, 2 by 1 is 0 0.5, 2 amperes. 2 by 1 is 2 amperes, okay. So, here, uh, when it comes to here, if you see here, when it comes to here, both resistance are equal, I get 1 ampere, I get 1 ampere. Okay, let I take, let I take 6 volts here. Let I take 6 volts here. 6 by 1, 1, 1.5, 0.5 plus 0.5, 1, I equal to V by R. 6 by 1 is 6 amperes. So, I will get 6 amperes. Here, I will get 3 amperes. If I take uh, green, green, green uh, color shows, I am taking the voltage source is 6 volts. So, here it divides into 3 amperes. 3 amperes. What happens if I multiply the excitation by 3 volts, 3 times, if I increase the excitation by 3 times, 3 times, the response is also 2 into 3, 6 amperes. Okay, 1 into 3, 3 amperes, 1 into 3, 3 amperes. Okay, so if excitation is multiplied by 3, the response is a response in all the branches also multiplied by 3. This is called a homogeneity. So, you see here resistance and voltage source only if all the values of the voltage source are doubled so if i multi voltage source are doubled then the values of the mesh currents also doubled the values of the mesh currents also doubled as per superposition theorem as per superposition theorem okay superposition theorem hope you understand let's see the next question Let's see this question. He asked the Thevenin's equivalent of the circuit. You try this. You try this and give the answer in the comment box. You try this. Give the answer in the comment box. Okay. So I find. Uh, let let try. Let try. Okay. Let try and give the answer in the comment box. If you like the video, share to your friends. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to KMED Gates Education. So let's see the first question. To minimize voltmeter loading, the voltmeter operating current has to be small. The voltmeter operating current has to be high. 
resistance connected in series with the coil should be low resistance connected in parallel with the coil should be high so one thing we know what we know the voltmeter has a series resistance voltmeter has a series resistance ammeter has a shunt resistance ammeter has a shunt resistance so resistance connected in parallel we can neglect this option and uh, in ammeter shunt the rsh should be low in series resistance it should be high okay so resistance connected in series with the coil should be low this neglected option and finally you have this two can be option any of these two can be a option let's see what we know the voltmeter suppose if you consider circuit theory ideal voltage source this is an ideal voltage source practical voltage source this is practical voltage source in practical voltage source you have a resistance in series with the voltage okay uh, if you consider ideal current source this is an ideal current source if you consider practical current source you have a resistance in parallel with current source while coming across in measurement if you consider this is a voltmeter this is an ideal voltmeter if you consider practical voltmeter you have a parallel resistance if you consider this is an ammeter ideal ammeter if you consider practical ammeter you have a series resistance series resistance okay so if you play suppose if i have a resistance suppose if i have a some network okay if i have a some network if i have a some network if i place a voltmeter across it if i place a voltmeter across it okay so this is having a resistance of parallel resistance to minimize this this will be the loading what will be the loading this extra resistance will be the loading this has to be taken into account okay so if this current is small if the current going to this is small okay if i take this current going to this is small then what happens resistance will be high what happens this resistance is high so resistance is high means this can be simply acts as a open circuit this resistance can be neglected okay so this will be equivalent to ideal voltmeter this will this will cause the loading effect this uh, internal resistance of voltmeter causes loading effect so if it draws a low current that means it has a high resistance okay so the question may be asked the question may be asked the current to be small or resistance to be infinity resistance to be infinity or high okay so loading means this will, this will not this series suppose if you consider this voltmeter m meter having a resistance or a uh, re meter resistance and i am connecting series resistance this is a voltmeter this this series resistance this meter resistance does not affect the load does not affect the loading okay does not coming to this this will not affect the loading the resistance which have internal across this will affect the loading similarly m meter series resistance will affect the loading you have to keep in the mind in that okay you have to keep mind in that that voltmeter having a parallel resistance m meter having a series resistance ulta from circuit theory to measurements it is a ulta okay they are considering voltage source here considering voltmeter there is a series resistance there is a parallel resistance okay hope you understand so this internal resistances affects the loading creates the loading okay next question 
let's see the next question he have given that what is the multiplying power of the shunt resistance when use the galvanometer of a uh, thousand ohm resistance this is an ammeter galvanometer you have a meter resistance thousand ohms and you have a shunt resistance of 200 ohms we know that rsh is equal to rm by m minus 1 what is rsh 200 what is meter resistance 1000 this is multiplying factor m minus 1 m minus 1 equal to so 5 m equal to 6 m is equal to 6 is the multiplying factor let's see the next question right let's see the next question the power consumed by uh, the balance at three phase load is measured by a two watt meter method the meter readings are uh, you have um, eight kilowatts and four kilowatts the power factor of the load we know that phi equal to tan inverse of root three into p1 minus p2 divided by p1 plus p2 so what is tan phi tan 5 equal to root 3 what is p1 8 minus 4 4 by 12 4 3 is very equal to 1 by root 3 sin 30 1 by 2 so phi equal to 30 degrees okay so what is power factor cos 30 degrees cos 30 is root 3 by 2 that equal to 0.866 that is answer is between 0.5 and unity answer is d let's see the next question so let's see the next question the least number of single phase watt meters required to measure total power of an unbalanced load so let note these points for unbalanced load of a three phase four wire system you required n minus one watt meter so n is n phase sorry four wise so four minus one three watt meters okay so three phase four wire system let note this three phase four wire system unbalanced unbalanced you have three watt meters required so for balance three phase four wire system for balance you have only single watt meter is required for three phase three wire balanced or unbalanced balanced or unbalanced unbalanced you have only required minimum two watt meters minimum two watt meters so carefully note these points three phase four wire three phase four wire system three phase four wire system unbalanced you have required four minus one three watt meters for balanced you have required only single watt meter for three phase three wire balanced or unbalanced minimum two watt meter is required so here the question is given that unbalanced load so four wire system therefore require three watt meters okay let's see the next question so what is the next question given in phantom loading arrangement energy consumption in the calibration test of the watt meter is reduced because what do i do in the phantom loading means you separate the current coil and giving this low voltage dc supply to this current coil okay so that is the uh, reason energy consumption is reduced energy consumption is reduced because we are separating the current coil uh, you have a current coil and pressure coil in the watt meter current coil in series with load pressure coil is connected across the supply actual watt meter so what we do in the phantom loading means we are separating the current coil and we are going giving separate low voltage dc voltage low voltage supply across the current coil okay so option d is the answer option d is the answer okay next question so what is the question given here uh, the instrument whose deflection is given by a equation theta is proportional to i square into dm by d theta right so we know that uh, for pmmc for pmmc deflecting torque is uh, called to n b i into a so this is number of turns this is flux density and current and this is 
area okay so this is a deflecting torque this is uh, depends upon principle is depend upon lorentz force lorentz force or motor principle current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field subject to a force next you see here moving iron deflecting torque is equal to half i square dl by d theta dl by d theta so operation based on the change in self inductance operation is based on the change in self inductance of the coil change in self inductance of the coil next you consider electrodynamometer next you consider electrodynamometer electrodynamometer operating principle based on change in mutual inductance operating principle based on change in mutual inductance so deflecting torque is proportional to i1 i2 dm by d theta i1 i2 dm by d theta so if i consider ammeter current flowing through the series coil and current coil is same that is current coil and potential coil is same you get i square dm by d theta okay so this is of relation for electrodynamometer so you can see here this is a mutual inductance here is mutual inductance is there that's why it's it is a electrodynamometer type instrument next question let's see the next question here a 0 to 200 voltmeter has an accuracy of 1% of the full scale reading so 200 voltmeter has 1 by 100 that equal to 2 so this is the accuracy of 1% of the voltage measured is 50 plus or minus 2 this is error what is limiting error 2 by 50 into 100 so 52 is that equal to 4 percent so limiting error is 4 percent so hope you understand so let's see here you have an accuracy accuracy of 1 percent of the full scale reading if you see here 1 by 100 into 200 that equal to 2 that means you have 200 so plus or minus 2 you can if you uh, if you measure the voltage suppose if you measure the 200 volts of voltmeter if you measure measure is 150 if you measuring 150 volts so the accuracy means 150 150 plus or minus 2 so i can get 152 or i will get 148 volts so, so I, I will get in this range so uh, the limiting error is 2 by so the measure value is 50 volts so 50 plus or minus 2 volts okay so limiting error is 2 by 15 to 100 this we have to calculate all right let's see the next question see the next question a guard terminal is a measurement of high resistance you see here we know that uh, we know that uh, the high resistance consists of three terminals okay so this is terminal one this is terminal two and you have this is terminal three you have three terminals so this is a guard terminal it is to bypass the leakage current it is used to bypass the leakage current okay so high resistance has a three terminals and low resistance has a four terminals low resistance has a four terminals so you have to clearly uh, observe the medium resistance high resistance and low resistance and what are the measurement types so what are the measurement types you have to check that okay so clean rightly write notes on that clearly you can get an idea okay let's see the next question so you can see here the next question is uh, research just pattern is given the frequency ratio of the vertical signal to the horizontal signal so he asked that to f vertical signal fy and horizontal signal x is equal number of horizontal cuts by number of horizontal cuts by number of vertical cuts number of vertical cuts you can see here horizontal cuts how many will come into picture let's see here clearly okay horizontal cuts this is one and this is two and this is three and this is four and this is five and this is six 
vertical cuts you observe here i will take uh, here so let 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 take here so this is one and this is two and this is three this is four two threes two three is to two is the answer three is to two is the answer let's see the next so let's see the next question he given that uh, in series or else a circuit excited by the voltage source e equal to e sin omega t where lc equal to 1 by omega square you can see here lc less than 1 by omega square that means omega square less than 1 by lc so omega less than 1 by root lc that is it is a resonant frequency omega naught is less than root of l by so it less than 1 by root omega is 1 by root lc is a resonant frequency okay it is not so omega less than 1 by root lc omega 1 by root lc is a resonant frequency okay so below resonant frequency in series rlc circuit leading in nature leading in nature so leading in nature means current leads the applied voltage so phase it correct it, it is above resonant frequency it is above resonant frequency so current in phase at resonant frequency it is also at resonant frequency at resonant frequency voltage and cross inductance and capacitance are equal at resonant frequency so answer is this let's see next question uh, let's see the next question here the value of the load impedance zl for which load consumes maximum power okay so we know that for zl equal to zs conjugate okay i will go for this 30 minus j40 but i don't have answer 30 minus j40 is not there 30 minus j40 is not there 30 minus j40 is not there something it is given 50 50 30 so what do we do here we prove for none of the above if you put in the exam hall and come to the come outside of the exam hall then you get the answer is wrong so let's see here what is magnitude of zl so magnitude of uh, zl equal to root of uh, 30 square plus 40 square what is this 900 plus uh, 1600 root of uh, 2500 so 50 ohms so i get 50 ohms so this is wrong this is wrong 50 ohms is correct 50 ohms i want to perfect cos phi equal to r by z so what is r here 30 z is how much 50 so 0.6 i will get 0.6 right so lag or lead it is the question here what is the question here lead or lag okay so what i get here zl is here is zl equal to 30 minus j40 so this is something look like r minus jx if i have rl equal to zl equal to rl plus jx r minus jx compare with these equations what i get r minus jx so it is a leading in nature so i neglect this option i go for this option okay so hope you understand so let's see some more questions in next video if you like this video please share to your friends okay thank you hi friends welcome to kmate gate is education so given system of equation the system is consistent a b c condition and the condition satisfy so this is an normal theorem ax equal to zero it is a homogeneous equation ax not equal to zero it is a non-homogeneous equation so given equations on the homogeneous equation so for the given for the homogeneous non-homogeneous equations to be consistent so rank of matrix a equal to rank of augmented matrix okay so for the system to be consistent for the system to be consistent for the system to be consistent rank of matrix a equal to rank of augmented matrix e for the system to be inconsistent for the system to be inconsistent uh, rank of matrix a not equal to rank of augmented matrix rank of 
argumented matrix rank of argumented matrix so again here we have two conditions okay wa? so here if are inconsistent there is no solution so rank of matrix a is not equal to rank of argumented matrix then you don't have a solution if rank of a equal to rank of argumented matrix then i have a two possibilities here okay so if it is equal to the number of variables how many number of variables is there so ninga pathina x is one variable y is one variable z is one variable so three variables are there okay so or less than n variables okay so the another condition is rank of a equal to rank of argumented matrix equal to n you have unique solution so you have unique solution you have unique solution okay you have unique solution so you have infinite number of solution here here you have infinite number of solutions okay so these are the condition for the consistent for the consistent rank of matrix equal to matrix a equal to rank of argumented matrix that equal to number of variables how many variables one oh, get there are three variables so this uh, this three i is equal then you have unique solution if it has not equal uh so if it is rank of matrix and rank of argumented matrix equal but less than number of uh, un uh, variables unknowns then it is have infinite number of solution so first try to write the matrix so ninga pathina if i write matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 minus 6 c okay so 1 2 minus 3 a 2 3 3 b 5 9 minus 6 c okay so this is an matrix so this is an argumented matrix up to here you have a matrix this is a matrix a okay and this is an argumented matrix so, so first what i have to do what i have to do i have to eliminate this element so i have to make this element zero then after i have to make this two elements zero then after i have to make this three elements equal to zero the if if at all matrix is there okay so again going that so i increasing the elements by making zeros increasing okay first this element is zero next this element this two elements is zero next this three elements next four elements making zero okay so this is the row echelon form this is row echelon form so first i make this two is zero and uh, first i make this two equal to zero and uh, five equal to zero okay first i make this 2 and 5 equal to 0 okay for that what i do enna pandra paarenga r2 r2 tends to r2 r2 minus 2 r1 okay r3 tends to r3 tends to r3 minus 5 r1 okay right so ipo paathina uh, what we have 1 2 Minus three, a two minus two zero, three minus four minus one, three plus six nine, and b minus two a. R three five minus five zero, nine minus two nine minus ten minus one, minus six minus six plus fifteen plus nine. C minus five a. Okay, so next next thing is I want to make this element is zero. Okay, first first element row is zero. Next next two elements equal to zero. Next three elements equal to zero. From starting next four elements equal to zero. That is a row echelon form. So how can make I the? If you want to in the minus one is zero. Parano. So R three tends to R three minus R two. If I make this. This will zero. Okay, so you are seeing now. So one, two, minus three, a, zero, minus one, nine, b minus two a. Okay, so zero minus zero zero minus one plus one zero nine minus nine zero c minus five a c minus five a minus b plus two a. Okay. so this is this condition so ninga pathina rank of the matrix a vandu 2 ella zero aipoyichu so remaining remaining zero aagama irukna elements enadhu 1 2 etanru irukku zero aagama etanru irukku 
அது வந்து ரேங்க் ஆஃப் தி மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஏன் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கம்ப்ளீட் ரேங்க் ஆஃப் ஆர்குமெண்டட் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சொல்ல முடியாது டிபெண்ட் அப்பான் டிபெண்ட் அப்பான் தி அவங்க என்ன கேல்குலேட் பண்ண சொல்லியிருக்கு இப்போ அவங்க என்ன சொல்லியிருக்காரு சிஸ்டம் இஸ் கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் அவன் என்ன சொல்லியிருக்கான் சிஸ்டம் வந்து கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் சிஸ்டம் வந்து கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஸோ தட் மீன்ஸ் ரேங்க் ஆஃப் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஏ ஈக்குவல் டு ரேங்க் ஆஃப் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஏ ஈக்குவல் டு ரேங்க் ஆஃப் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஏ பை ஆர்குமெண்டட் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் ஷுட் பி ஈக்குவல் ஸோ இப்போ வந்து ரேங்க் ஆஃப் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ஏ வந்து டூ வந்துச்சு ஸோ இது ரேங்க் ஆஃப் ஆர்குமெண்டட் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் கூட ரெண்டு ஆகணும் ஸோ திஸ் பாசிபிலிட்டி ஓன்லி இங்கே பாருங்கள் ஸோ இஃப் கம்ப்ளீட் ரோ இஸ் ஜீரோ இப்போ வச்சுனா ரேங்க் ஆஃப் ஆர்குமெண்டட் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் கூட டூ ரோஸ் ஆர் நாட் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ ஓகேவா ஸோ பி மைனஸ் சி மைனஸ் ஃபைவ் மைனஸ் த்ரீ ஏ மைனஸ் பி ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ இஃப் இட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஆர் த்ரீ ஏ ப்ளஸ் பி மைனஸ் சி த்ரீ ஏ சி மைனஸ் ஃபைவ் ஏ ரைட்டு த்ரீ ஏ ப்ளஸ் பி மைனஸ் இருக்கா ஓகே ஆப்ஷன் பி இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் த்ரீ ஏ ப்ளஸ் பி மைனஸ் சி இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் ஓகே ஆப்ஷன் டூ பி இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டெஃபினட் இன்டிகிரல் கேல்குலேட் பண்ண சொல்லியிருக்காங்க இன்டிகிரல் ஜீரோ டு ஏ ரூட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் பை ரூட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ரூட் ஆஃப் ஏ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஸோ இதெல்லாம் நீங்கள் வந்து ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணால் தான் நான் இருக்கும் டெஃபினட்டாக சொல்கிறேன் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ப்ராக்டிஸ் டெய்லி ஒன் ஹவர் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் ஸோ ஸ்கோ ஃபிஃப்டீன் டு டுவெண்ட்டி மார்க்ஸ் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸில் இருந்தால் வரும் ஓகேவா நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃப்ரம் டெஃபினட் இன்டிகிரல் உங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஃபார்முலா தெரியும் இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி எஃப் ஆஃப் டெஃபினட் இன்டிகிரல் ஃபார்முலா இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் டிஎக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு இன்டிகிரல் இன்டிகிரல் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஏ டு பி ஸோ இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி எஃப் ஆஃப் எஃப் ஆஃப் ஏ ப்ளஸ் பி மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் டிஎக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் டிஎக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி ஏ ப்ளஸ் பி மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஸோ இன்டிகிரல் சம்மேஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் இன்டிகிரல் மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஸோ இது ஈக்குவல் ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லெட் ஐ ஈக்குவல் டு இன்டிகிரல் ஜீரோ டு ஏ ஜீரோ டு ஏ ரூட் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ரூட் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஏ ரூட் ஆஃப் ஏ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இது யூ கேன் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் ஆஸ் ஜீரோ டு ஏ ரூட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ மை ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் பை ரூட் ஆஃப் ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ப்ளஸ் ரூட் ஆஃப் a minus so ninga pathinga i am replacing inga paranga x is replaced by a plus b minus x so a minus a minus a minus x a plus 0 minus x so here i am replacing x by a plus 0 minus x okay here i am replacing a plus 0 minus x okay here i am replacing a plus 0 minus x okay so if you are looking at a plus 0 minus x a plus 0 minus x a minus a plus 0 minus x you are looking at this i equal to 0 to a root of a minus x by root of a minus x plus root x plus root x okay so if i add this so this is equation 1 if i add this equation 2 okay so i equal to integral a to, G, a to b f of x dx this is also equal to i okay so rendu add pandren so 2 i equal to integral 0 to a uh, root x plus root x plus root a minus x okay plus root a minus x plus root a minus x ப்ளஸ் ரூட் எக்ஸ் ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டூ ஐ ஈக்குவல் டு டினாமினேட்டர் இஸ் சேம் ஜீரோ டு ஏ ரூட் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ரூட் ஏ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் பை ரூட் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ரூட் ஏ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் டிஎக்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வில் கேன்சல் தட் ஈக்குவல் டு எக்ஸ் இன்டிகல் டிஎக்ஸ் இஸ் எக்ஸ் ஜீரோ டு ஏ ஸோ டூ ஐ ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ ஐ ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ பை டூ ஸோ இங்கே ஒன்றுமே இல்லை பாருங்கள் ஸோ உங்களுக்கு இந்த ஃபார்முலா தெரியணும் எந்த ஃபார்முலா தெரியணும் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஸோ எந்த ஃபார்முலா தெரியணும் ஐ ஈக்குவல் டு இன்டிகிரல் ஏ டு பி எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் 
dx equal to I am replacing that x is equal to sum of this integral and subtracting minus x. Okay, so integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. Okay, so let i equal to let put the question on the integral a to b f of x dx ana dx ana but it equal to all so this is equal to this it is also equal to i okay so i adding to this 2i i am getting the answer i am getting the answer okay so very very important problem okay next question so ungal kenna ketirukka question next question divergence of the vector field enna ketirukaga divergence of the vector field divergence of the vector field means a delta dot the vector the del dot v bar okay wa? so del operator dot v bar what is a del operator ninga paathina del operator equal to do by do x i cap do by do y j cap do by do z k cap okay so do by do z k cap so the vector field is given as delta dot uh, v bar divergence is delta dot v bar okay so do by do x i cap do by do y j cap do by do z k cap into how much uh, x minus y into i cap uh, y minus x into j cap and x plus y plus z into k cap okay so ninga paathinga i dot i this is a dot i dot i is 1 i dot i is 1 i dot i is 1 j dot j is 1 and k dot k dot i equal to 1 but i dot j equal to 0 i dot k equal to 0 similarly opposite on the check equal to so i dot i do by do x of x 1 and do by do f of y 1 and do by do z 1 option is 3 or 3 this is the answer okay let's see next question so next question pathing na complex variable and kurthur kaga so ongar gana thering integral c integral c phi of z by z by z naught equal to 2 pi a into f of phi of z naught okay wow. so ninga paathina z equal to ninga paathina question enna kuduthirukkaga the given question is z square minus z plus 4 z this is a phi of z z plus 2 z 2 j okay so the given uh, condition is mod z equal to 3 z equal to minus 2 z if you place minus 2 z here what is magnitude magnitude is 2 it is less than 3 lies within this circle lies within this circle so 2 pi i into 2 pi i into okay so 2 pi i into phi of minus 2 z 2 j so 2 pi i into what is uh, phi of minus 2j so minus 2j whole square minus plus 2j plus 4j so ninga pathinga na 2 pi i 4j square uh, minus 4 minus 4 plus 6j plus 6j if i take common common eduka theva illa minus 4 2 plus j3 so 4 pi i into 2 minus 2 plus j3 okay so i will anupre minus 2 i j square i into i minus minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 i uh, minus 3 okay so in game miss f phi of minus 2j so minus 2j whole square minus of minus 2j plus 4j minus 2 whole square j square plus 2j now max look when week okay wa well, now no separate separate minus 2 whole square that equal to 4 minus 4 plus 6j correct now minus 4 plus 6j 2 pi i into minus 4 plus 6j so 2 common at the 4 pi i into minus 2 plus 3 i i will have one so minus 2 i minus 3 
minus value minus 4 pi into 2i plus 3. So minus 4 pi into 2i plus 3. So okay, right. Option C is the answer. So, minus is So, option okay. So, minus uh, common is minus 4 pi into 3 plus j2. Next question. So, next question is or differential equation x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx. Okay, wa? plus y equal to 0. So, which of the following is associated with? So, you can see this linear, uh, one, uh, in the homogeneous, this is the Cauchy's Wheeler equation. This is the linear homogeneous differential equation. So, you can see d square plus d plus uh, 1 into y. In the matita, you can get no problem. Okay, well, linear differential equation. Matita. So, you can solve the equation. That's what you can see. So in, in the my problem x equal to x equal to e power t x equal to e power t substitute pano. So in the my questions or rupa, x equal to e power t substitute pano. So log x and the you x equal to e power t vacha log x and now the t other log x and now t other dt by dx and now the dt by dx n are 1 by x are dt by dx n are 1 by x are so ungal konu theriyum so dy by dx na vand dy by dx dy by dt dy by dt into dt by dx a eldikalama so dt dt cancel ayana dy by dx vandichu so dy by dx so x square into d square indha mari model la varrappa ninga paarenga so indha mari varra varrappa x what is the substitution substitution for x x equal to first question idra varru x one mark la vanda what is the substitution for x it is a e power t okay so logarithm apply panna log x equal to t Okay, wa? so differentiate panna with respect to x, you get 1 by x. So dy by dx, and I dy by dt into dt by dx. So numerator and denominator multiply by dt by dx. So you can see dy by dt, dt by dx, wala? dt by dx, 1 by x. So 1 by x. Okay, so x into dy by dx equal to dy by dt. x into dy by dx equal to dy by dt so simply ninga pathina x into dy by dx equal to dx into dy by dx equal to dy by dt uh, that simply na eppadi represent pandren d1 into d1 into y where d1 into y where d1 is the d by dt d by dt suppose x square into d square y by y dy dx square irukku simply i am write as d1 into okay d1 minus 1 into y okay similarly in the question suppose if you have a x cube into d square d cube y by dx cube in the i am simply represent as d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2 into y okay wa? so d1 is represented by d by dt okay wa? d by dt so dy by dt so in the question for example ninga paranga for example i have the question like this x cube ninga paathina i have a question like this x cube d cube y by dx cube x cube dy by dx cube okay so plus x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to 0 y equal to 0 suppose this is the equation i have so what i end up on so i know x into dy by dx i am replaced by d1 into y okay so d1 into y if i have x square into d square y by dx square what i have to represent d1 into d1 minus 1 into y if i have x cube into dy cube by uh, d cube y by dx cube na endha maatra represent panna so d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2 into y okay similarly ipo paarenga what is the x here so very very important here this will come into co exam x equal to evala e power t e power t so logarithm log base e apply panna log x equal to 
t varum so dt by dx evlo inga 1 by x dt by dx evlo 1 by x this you have to remember so ipo paarenga question enna kuduthirukanga x square plus ninga paarenga x square into d square y by dx square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx x into dy by dx plus plus y equal to zero so x square into d equal to zero so now i will represent panlam what is the replacement of x x equal to e power t log x equal to t okay so base log x base e okay va so log x equal to t so what how can i write this ninge pathina d1 into x square two terms or not d1 minus 1 into y x one term or on d1 into y sorry d1 into y plus y equal to zero so ninge pathina d1 square minus d1 into y plus d1 y plus y equal to zero so ninge pathina d1 square minus d1 square y minus d1 y plus d1 y plus y equal to zero so i get cancelled so ninga paathina y equal to y into d1 square minus 1 equal to zero okay va so d square something d square minus 1 equal to zero d equal to 1 d square equal to 1 d equal to root of 1 d equal to root of 1 okay so you get 1 here plus or minus 1 here plus or minus 1 here okay what is the equation y equal to c1 into e power x plus c2 into e power minus x c1 into e power x minus c2 into e power minus x but here x is not we are using c power into t okay c2 into e power minus 2t so unga answer la iruka illa so inga na enna mistake panna maari irukke enna mistake panna inga paarenga d1 y cancelled y into d square plus 1 okay d square plus 1 equal to 0 that equal to d square plus 1 equal to 0 d square equal to minus 1 d equal to root of minus 1 that equal to plus or minus i okay plus or minus i so ninga paathina c1 into e power i theta plus c2 into so e power i t plus c2 into e power minus i t okay so inge varuku vandirukku so next enna pannanum but enak answer la vandu cos of log x x 1 by x log x da irukku so enna pandrathu ipa enna pannalam pa solunga so ninga paarenga t equal to la t equal to log x t equal to log x so or second elunga right so again i have mistake panna enna mistake panna actually la pathina a plus ib root irundha enna agum y equal to e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx idha correct answer okay va na enna panna direct real numbers maari potten so ninga enna panna appadi exam la poda kudadu okay va so ipo paarenga c what is the roots plus or minus i so e power 0 x ninga pathina c1 cos ix i evla cos 1x okay a plus ib a plus ib cos 1x plus c2 sin x sin x okay sin x plus so t ella t la inga okay va so sin t similarly adukapram pathina minus so c1 cos of minus t cos of minus t is t c2 minus sin, uh, sin t so this is c3 and this is c4 okay va c3 and this is c4 so ungal options la enna irukku c but t equal to la log x t equal to la log x t equal to la log x okay and ninga pathinga na avanga solution for the differential equation for x greater than 0 get iruka x greater than 0 get iruka so i can neglect minus i i can neglect minus i so i can na eduthiralam idha so i get c1 cos log x c1 cos log x y equal to ninga pathinga uh, 
நீங்க பாருங்க y equal to y equal to c1 cos log x plus c2 c2 sin log x minus item போற நான் எடுத்துடலாம் தேவை இல்லாம x greater than 0 கேட்டிருக்கான் ஓகேவா ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எனக்கு ஆன்சரில் காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் தான் இருக்குது ஸோ தட் எம்ப்ளை சி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் சி டூ ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ தட் எம்ப்ளை சி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் சி டூ ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ தட் எம்ப்ளை சி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் ஹியர் ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் வச்சு நம்ம ஆன்சர் வச்சு நம்ம வந்து இப்போ டிட்டர் சி ஒன் எவ்வளோ சி டூ எவ்வளோன்னு கண்டுபிடிக்கணும் ஓகேவா ஸோ திஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் யூ கேன் கெட் டூ மார்க்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஸோ டூ மார்க்ஸில் யூஸ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு கே கேட்குறதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்குது ஓகேவா ஸோ இங்கே நான் என்ன என்னென்ன மிஸ்டேக் பண்ணேன் சொல்லுங்கள் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆக்சுவலாக அப்படி நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஸோ எம் ஒன் எம் டூ ஆர் ரியல் நம்பர்ஸ் யூ கெட் ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு சி ஒன் இ பவர் எம் ஒன் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் சி டூ இ டூ இ பவர் எம் டூ எக்ஸ் ஸோ எம் ஒன் எம் ஒன் ரிப்பீட்டட் டு போல்ஸ் போல்ஸ் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரூட்ஸ் வந்து Uh, real and not repeated you have the solution like this if repeated m1 m1 y equal to c1 plus c2x plus e1 power m1 x so if it is repeated if it is repeated thrice m1 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 so y equal to c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power m1 x okay if at all if i have a plus ib If at all I have a plus ib, so what is the uh, solution to this? e power ax, c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, okay? c2 sin bx. Suppose if I have a plus ib one root, c plus ib complex root, what is the solution? y equal to e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, okay? c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. plus e power b cx into c1 c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx c4 sin bx okay c4 sin bx right if at all if i have repeated roots a plus ib a plus ib repeated roots what i have y equal to e power ax c1 plus c2x into cos bx plus c3 plus c4x plus sin bx so ipo idella ungalku therinjada ipo vandu neenga solve panna mudiyum okay va so inge nama enge mistake panna d square plus d square vaa neenga paathina d1 square plus 1 into y equal to 0 clear cut paarenga d square plus 1 into y equal to 0 so d d square equal to evala minus 1 so d1 square equal to minus 1 d1 equal to evala root of minus 1 that equal to plus or minus i so he asked the question for x greater than 0 he asked the question for x greater than 0 okay va so x greater than 0 so i have to consider only plus i i want to consider only plus i or yeah, so ungalku idea illa உங்களுக்கு ஐடியா இல்லை ஸோ ப்ளஸ் ஐ இஸ் ஒன் ரூட் மைனஸ் ஐ இஸ் ஒன் ரூட் ஓகே ஹவு கேன் யூ ரைட் திஸ் ஹேஸ் ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஐ பி ஸோ பி இஸ் ஒன் ஏ இஸ் ஜீரோ ஸோ இ பவர் ஜீரோ எக்ஸ் சி ஒன் காஸ் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் சி டூ சைன் எக்ஸ் ஓகே ப்ளஸ் இ பவர் ஜீரோ எக்ஸ் சி ஒன் காஸ் ஆஃப் மைனஸ் மைனஸ் ஒன் ஹியர் காஸ் ஆஃப் மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் இஸ் காஸ் எக்ஸ் மைனஸ் சி த்ரீ ஸோ சி ஃபோர் sin x c4 sin x okay so ninga pathina uh, this is not x it is an all in t okay ma so ninga anga pathina l at x equal to e power t so dy by dt x is replaced ninga pathina uh, last la x into dy by dt vandirukku okay na so ninga pathina t uh, if i replace t by log x if i t press log x log x so log x log x log x ஓகே ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சி ஒன் இன்டு காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் சி டூ இன்டு சைன் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் சி த்ரீ இன்டு காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் மைனஸ் சி ஃபோர் இன்டு சைன் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் சி ஃபோர் இன்டு சைன் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இப்போ இஃப் த இஃப் ஐ டேக் சி ஒன் சி டூ சி ஒன் சி டூ ஈக்குவல் டு சி த்ரீ ஈக்குவல் டு சி ஃபோர் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் இஃப் ஐ டேக் சி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் டு சி டூ ஈக்குவல் டு சி த்ரீ ஈக்குவல் டு சி ஃபோர் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் ஸோ காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் காஸ் ஆஃப் லாக் எக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இங்கே பாருங்கள் மைனஸ் சைன் லாக் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் சைன் லாக் எக்ஸ் கேன்சல் டூ காஸ் ஆஃப் 
log x so something constant into cos of log x value so if you are not a decide particular but it is an important problem it is an important problem okay right next question pop more in the video la. thank you hi friends welcome to came at gate is education so question pathing in the first question the rms value of the current i of t in this circuit okay so now you know you know whenever the question is given yeah alternating current first check for xl and xc okay so you know what is omega l here omega is one for supply voltage is sine t so that implies omega equal to one here omega equal to one here what is xl xl equal to omega l that equal to one ohm what is xc xc equal to one by omega c that equal to one by one into one that equal to one so from this xl equal to xc from this xl equal to xc so whenever xl equal to xc uh, you can say that that is in resonance condition so whenever resonance condition ninga pathina suppose if i consider series rlc circuit if i consider series rlc circuit if it is at resonance if it is at resonance i equal to v by r when it happens this is short circuited this is short circuited okay wow. that means ninga pathina xl plus xc equal to zero xl plus xc equal to zero okay wow. so similarly this is in series ninga pathina so this two in series and uh, xl equal to xc xl equal to xc this is short circuited so if this is short circuited what happens this is short circuited okay so this is short circuited so i equal to v by r that equal to 1.0 sin t by 1 that equal to 1 sin t amperes answer is sin t amperes i of t i of t is 1 sin t oh he asked the rms value of current i max is 1 ampere i max is 1 ampere what is i rms i max equal to root 2 into rms i rms equal to 1 by root 2 i rms equal to 1 by root 2 okay this is the answer next question next question by thing a very interesting question the vi characteristics shown in the figure from terminal ab kilo good inductance value 6 milli hundreds good what is the time constant of the system so indicator what is the time constant of the system okay so let's see here uh, the vi characteristics of this terminal is given okay from this given so uh, you can observe here in this axis this is a voltage axis current equal to zero this is a current axis voltage equal to zero okay voltage equal to zero so when current equal to zero when current equal to zero voltage is eight volts voltage is eight volts when voltage equal to zero current is 8 milliamperes so what in what n indicate for nothing about thing now this is a terminal when current equal to zero current equal to zero means this is open okay so when current equal to zero means when current equal to zero means uh, the terminal is a b is open okay that implies open circuit open circuit voltage open circuit voltage is 8 volts so this is implies this is a open circuit voltage okay ma? open circuit voltage so another thing it is given uh, uh, when current voltage equal to zero current is 8 milliampere so when voltage equal to zero means voltage across a b is zero means it is short circuited it is short circuited okay wa? so voltage across a b equal to zero means it implies it acts as a short circuit i equal to 8 milliampere that equal to isc isc so we know that we know that r equivalent or rth equal to ongalik nalla theriyum thevenance voltage by short circuit current thevenance voltage by short circuit current that equal to 8 by 8 milliamperes that equal to 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm so if i have uh, l equal to 6 milli henry so what is the time constant what is the time constant time constant equal to l by r what is l here 6 milli henry what is r here 1 kilo ohm so you get 6 microsecond time constant is 6 microsecond 
ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இந்த கொஸ்டின் உங்களுக்கு புரிஞ்சிச்சுன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஓகேவா லெட் சி நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ இது பாருங்கள் இது கொஞ்சம் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்டான கொஸ்டின் ஸோ இது பார்த்தோன்னே நீங்கள் பயந்துருவீங்க ஸோ பயங் அங்கே பார்த்தவனப்பா இது போகிற டெல்டா ஸ்டார் ஸ்டார் டெல்டா என்னடா இது என்னடா இது ஓகேவா ஸோ பட் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கொஸ்டின் கேர்ஃபுல்லாக சர்க்கியூட் கேர்ஃபுல்லாக அப்சர்வ் பண்ணுங்கள் சர்க்கியூட் கேர்ஃபுல்லாக அப்சர்வ் பண்ணுங்கள் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃபஸ்ட்டு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஐ ரைட் திஸ் ஐ ரீ ரைட் திஸ் ஈக்வலன் சர்க்கியூட் ஸோ ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஓம் அண்ட் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் ஓம்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் த்ரீ ஓம்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் டூ ஓம்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் ஓம்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஓம் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஓம் ஓகே ஸோ இங்கே நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கேர்ஃபுல்லாக அப்சர்வ் பண்ணுங்கள் திஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஓம் இஸ் கம் டு ஹியர் is connected here and this 3 ohm is connected this 3 ohm is connected here is connected here okay so let this node is a and this node is b so ninga pathinga na between these two nodes no impedance is connected or no element is connected so i can write this as i can a equal to b a equal to b so this is also a equal to b so this is a and this is b and this is b and this is b and this is a and this is a the same node it is a zero node okay so i can connect this 6 ohm in parallel with this and i connect this 3 ohms in parallel with this parallel with this so ipo ninga calculate panna ninga paranga 1 plus 1 2 ohms this is in series so this is in series 2 ohms and this is in parallel okay 2 into 6 let inge paarenga idu or parallel branch so first in the idu or parallel branch so 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3 9 3 3 3 2 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3 9 this is 2 ohms and this is uh, 2 ohms this 2 this 2 1 ohm okay 1 plus 2 3 ohms okay so 3 into 6 3 into 6 by 9 Okay, three three is two ohms. This is a two ohms. This is on the two ohms. Two into one now, la. In the equivalent one ohm on the chinger. Two into one by three. Two by three. Two by three plus one by point eight. So calculate for now. Angal answer on comment box la kudunga. Okay ma. So simple na. So ninge paranga. Uh, if you see here uh, this is in series this is in series okay and uh, this branch this 3 ohm and 6 ohm in parallel and again this is parallel while well, again this is in series okay so this 3 6 in parallel and parallel to this parallel and this 3 are in series so ninga vandu comment box la answer solunga next question so idu paarenga all the resistance of 1 ohms all the resistance of 1 ohms the switch is initially open what happens to lamp in intensity when the switch is closed right so ninga pathinga so this is of uh, 20 volt 200 volts so ninga pathinga initial switch is idu lamp koduthirukaga so this is the lamp okay so initially the switch is open switch is open means all resistance are same okay so this is given okay this is the uh, circuit given switch is open manirukaga right right so ipo ninga pathinga so this is r ohm this is r ohm and this is r ohm and this is r ohm so bridge is balanced so bridge is balanced okay so bridge is balanced so r by r equal to r by r okay so this branch is neglected current through this branch is zero i can neglect this branch open circuit this so this will to r and uh, this will be to r so this is something look like this to r and uh, this is of to r okay so 2r 2r parallel 2r by 
so this is equivalent of resistance so ninga pathina this total equivalent resistance is r value this total resistance value is r value if now switch is open ipo ninga pathina i open this switch i open i uh, so i close this switch the switch is initially open what happens when it is closed so when it is closed ninga pathina so this is resistance and uh, this is the resistance and you have this is the resistance and you have this is the resistance okay so this is the circuit inga ninga pathina in the switch close pannirukaga in the switch close pannirukaga okay so if this switch is closed ninga pathina if this switch is closed this is terminal a and this terminal b okay va and the switch enge connect a irukku terminal a ku terminal b connect a irukku okay va simply simply this is short circuited simply this is short circuited okay va so ninga pathina this is simply simply look like this only resistance and you have the switch connected like this so simply it is short circuited so a equal to b so this node potential equal to this node potential now so na ipo edu eppadi elukira paarenga so this is uh, resistance at node a and this is resistance at node b and this is uh, both are same and again this is resistance and this is resistance okay and i am connecting so ninga paathina i am simply this is r and this is r i am writing this like this r and ninge pathina this is r okay so id enna agudhu so ninge id pathina this is equivalent to r by 2 r by 2 and this is equivalent to so ninge pathina r by 2 in series with r by 2 okay so finally it is resistance so whatever there is a before switch before switch open before switch closed what is the resistance what are the resistance equivalent resistance you have r okay after switch is closed equivalent resistance is also r so resistance change agala current change agadu the intensity will be same lamp intensity will be the same lamp intensity will be same okay va so before evlo resistance iruka i equal to 200 by r ipo kuda i equal to 200 by r the current remains same idhu munadi evlo irunchu intensity ipo kuda avula dhaan irukum hope you understand okay so next question pathina the impedance of the parallel circuit is 10 minus j, j 30 okay va so or parallel circuit koduthirukaga so impedance of the so let uh, impedance of this i don't know this is the value uh, i don't know so impedance of this parallel circuit parallel circuit this is z is 10 minus j 30 10 minus j 30 at 1 mega hertz the values of the circuit elements so what is first enak enna element kuda theriyadu okay va so but one can I, one can I expect that ninga pathina z equal to r plus j xl is r plus j xl is this will be inductive reactance and this is a uh, resistance if i have r minus j x c this is a resistance and this is a capacitance so i am kuduthirukka 10 minus j 30 okay that implies it is a resistance and this is a capacitance okay so 10 minus j 30 impedance vandu 10 minus j 30 that implies it is something resistance and it is a capacitance ninga paathina so this is a resistance and this is a capacitance okay so idu ungalku theriyum z equal to r plus j x l z equal to r minus j x c so here z equal to ninga paathina z equal to r minus j x c so r impedance kuduthiruka r minus j x c so this is capacitance this is a capacitance okay so ninge paathina this is a capacitance okay right so ipo paathina ipo paathina so y equal to so if you apply admittance y equal to 1 by r plus 1 by 1 by j omega c 1 by j omega c ओके सो ना डायरेक्ट आर इंटू वन बै जे उमेगा सी पड़ना सो कुछ कैलकुलेशन डिफिकल्टा सो वन बै आर प्लस जे उमेगा सी वन बै आर जे उमेगा सी 
ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் தி கிவன் பட் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜெட் ஈக்குவல் டு நீங்கள் ஜெட் ஈக்குவல் டு டென் மைனஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி ஸோ ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு என் ஆகுது ஒன் பை டென் மைனஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி ஐ கேன் ரைட் திஸ் ஸோ ஐ கேன் ரைட் இன்டு டென் ப்ளஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி டிவைடட் பை டென் ப்ளஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி ஸோ டென் ப்ளஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி பை எவ்வளோ ஆகுது டென் ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் ப்ளஸ் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் தேர்ட்டி ஸ்கொயர் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஓகே டென் ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் தேர்ட்டி ஸ்கொயர் ஹண்ட்ரட் ப்ளஸ் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் இட் இஸ் ஏ தௌசண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஏ தௌசண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டென் ப்ளஸ் டென் பை தௌசண்ட் ப்ளஸ் ஜே தேர்ட்டி பை தௌசண்ட் ஸோ டென் டென்ஸ் டென் ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் அண்ட் த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பை ஹண்ட்ரட் ப்ளஸ் ஜே த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பை ஆர் ப்ளஸ் ஜே ஒமேகா சி ஜே ஒமேகா சி ஸோ கம்பேரிசன் பண்ணுங்க கம்பேரிசன் பண்ண கம்பேரிசன் பண்ண ஆர் ஈக்குவல் டு ஆர் ஈக்குவல் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் ஓம்ஸ் ஆர் ஈக்குவல் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் ஓம்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஒமேகா சி ஈக்குவல் டு ஒமேகா சி ஈக்குவல் டு த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸோ ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி வந்து ஒன் மெகா ஹெட்ஜு ஒன் மெகா ஹெட்ஜு கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஸோ டூ பை எஃப் இன்டு சி ஈக்குவல் டு த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் த ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி இஸ் கிவன் ஆஸ் ஒன் மெகா ஹெட்ஜ் ரைட் ஓகே ஸோ டூ இன்டு பை இன்டு சி த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் மெகா இங்கே இருக்க அங்கிட்டு போனால் மைக்ரோ மைக்ரோ த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் மைக்ரோ சி ஈக்குவல் டு த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் த்ரீ பை ஹண்ட்ரட் டூ இன்டு இது வந்து டுவெண்ட்டி டூ பை செவன் பை வந்து டுவெண்ட்டி டூ பை செவன் அங்கிட்டு போனால் செவன் பை டுவெண்ட்டி டூ அங்கிட்டு போனால் செவன் பை டுவெண்ட்டி டூ இன் ப டுவெண்ட்டி டூ பை செவன் செவன் பை டுவெண்ட்டி டூ பை டூ ஓகே ஸோ டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் பை டூ டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் மைக்ரோ ஃபேரட் மைக்ரோ ஃபேரட் ஓகேவா ஸோ இது நீங்கள் கேல்குலேட் பண்ணால் ஸோ ஒன்று பண்ணுங்கள் டூ சம்திங் இது கேல்குலேட் பண்ணி வேல்யூ சொல்லுங்க ஓகேவா ஸோ இவ இது ஆறு வச்சு நீங்கள் ஆன்சர் சொல்லிடலாம் ஓகேவா ஸோ இது கேல்குலேட் பண்ண தேவையில்லை இது கேல்குலேட் பண்ண தேவையில்லை ஓகேவா ஸோ லெட் சி சம் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டிப்பிக்கல் கொஷின்ஸ் இன் அதர் டா இன் அதர் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் நீங்கள் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகேவா லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ லெக்சர் பார்த்தே ட்ரிக்கி கொஷின்ஸ் இந்த லே ட்ரிக்கி கொஷின்ஸ் பார்த்துருப்பியே ஸோ உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸுக்கு ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் பிடிச்சிருந்தால் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் தட் வில் ஹெல்ப் உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்டுக்கு ஹெல்ப்பாக இருக்கும் ஓகேவா தேங்க்யூ Hi friends, welcome to K-Mate Gates Education. First question is, if the applied voltage to a transformer primary is increasing by keeping V by F ratio is fixed, then the magnetizing component of current and the core loss will be. So this is the question given. He asked, he said that the applied voltage to the transformer is increased by keeping carefully observe here. by keeping uh, v by f ratio is fixed he said that by keeping v by f ratio is fixed okay so i mean what should i come v by f ratio is fixed by increasing the primary voltage so ungalku ella theriyum transformer lecture basics la paathirpiya b max b max is depend upon v by f b max depends upon v by f in transform of flux is constant in transform of flux is constant whatever the load the flux is constant na solirken okay va so whatever the load the flux is constant okay so if the flux to be constant this v by f ratio this v by f ratio to be constant this v by f ratio to be constant This is now and then I will tell you about the transformer basics. Okay, 
அவன் கொஸ்டின்ல பார்த்தேன் விபை ஆஃப் ரேஷியோ கான்ஸ்டண்ட்டாக இருக்குது நான் அப்ளைடு வோல்டேஜ் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் ஸோ இஃப் ஐ இன்க்ரீஸ் அப்ளைடு வோல்டேஜ் பட் ஐ ஹாவ் டு மெயின்டைன் பை ஐ ஆம் இன்க்ரீசிங் த அப்ளைடு வோல்டேஜ் பட் ஐ ஆம் மெயின்டைன்டு விபை ஆஃப் ரேஷியோ ஃபிக்ஸ்டு ஸோ விபை ஆஃப் ரேஷியோ ஃபிக்ஸ்டு மீன்ஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி ஐ ஹாவ் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் எஃப் இஃப் இஃப் ஐ இன்க்ரீஸ் தி வோல்டேஜ் சைமல்டேனியஸ்லி இன்க்ரீஸ் தி ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி then the flux remains constant then the flux remains constant okay so this is the uh, question given now what happens to b max okay so if ninga pathina v by v by f ratio is constant if i increase the voltage i have to increase the frequency such that b max is constant avu enna solla pa question la paringa v by f ratio is fixed so v by f ratio is fixed means okay if i increase the voltage i also increase the frequency simultaneously if i decrease the voltage i have to decrease the frequency simultaneously that is the uh, meaning of the v by f ratio is fixed okay va so v by f ratio fixed en sonna na na voltage increase pandra simultaneously frequency increase pandra voltage decrease pandra simultaneously frequency decrease pandra but finally the flux density v by f ratio fixed en sonna flux density is constant so ninga paathina magnetizing component of current is constant okay magnetizing component of current is constant because this is caused for the produce flux in the transformer this is the component of the current to produce the flux in the transformer okay so children pay attention okay so magnetizing component of current is same what happens to core loss core loss enna irk core loss what are the core loss hysteresis losses eddy current losses k into b max square f square sorry Uh, b max power x into hysteresis loss equal to gain k into b max power x k into f into v while v is the volume of the core eddy current loss padina k into b max square into f square into t square where is t is thickness f f is the frequency so here b max is constant v by f ratio is means b max is constant so ninga pathina here this b max is constant okay that implies hysteresis losses is proportional to the frequency eddy current loss is proportional to the frequency square hysteresis loss is proportional to frequency eddy current loss proportional to frequency square so if i maintain the voltage uh, by increasing voltage i have to increase the frequency so frequency increases frequency increases hysteresis loss increases eddy current loss increases what happens to core loss increases so magnetizing component of current remains same the core loss increases core loss increases ஸோ உங்களுக்கு நல்லா புரிஞ்சுச்சு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ பி மேக்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டண்ட்டாக இருக்குது நான் வோல்டேஜ் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் வோல்டேஜ் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணிட்டா பண்ணிட்டானா சைமல்டேனியஸாக ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி கூட நான் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணால் அந்த வி பை எஃப் ரேஷியோ ஃபிக்ஸ் ஆகும் ஓகேவா அந்த வி பை எஃப் ரேஷியோ ஃபிக்ஸ் ஆகணும்னா சப்போஸ் இஃப் த கொஸ்டனில் வந்து இஃப் ஹி டிக்ரீஸ் தி வோல்டேஜ் இஃப் ஹி டிக்ரீஸ் தி வோல்டேஜ் பை கீப்பிங் தி வி பை எஃப் கான்ஸ்டண்ட் மீன்ஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டிக்ரீஸ் தி ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி சைமல்டேனியஸி சச் தட் வி பை எஃப் ரேஷியோ நான் வந்து மெயின்டைன் கான்ஸ்டண்ட் ஓகேவா ஸோ ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி இஸ் இங் பி மேக்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டண்ட் இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இங்கே பி மேக்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டண்ட் இங்கே பி மேக்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டண்ட் and hysteresis loss depends upon the frequency eddy current loss depends upon the frequency so by increasing the apply voltage simultaneously i am applying increasing frequency so frequency increase ana what happens to hysteresis and eddy current loss increases okay what happens to final core loss increases okay next question hope you understand next question uh, this is the question given a 200 volts this is a 200 volts by 100 volts 50 hg transformer 50 hg transformer is excited from 40 hg so are enga excited from 50 hg transformer he is excited at 40 hg from the 100 volt side he is excited at 40 hg 40 hg from 100 volt side for excitation current remains same the applied voltage should be for excitation should be same அவன் எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் எந்த சைட்லேருந்து கொடுத்துருக்கான் ஹண்ட்ரட் வோல்ட் சைட்லேருந்து கொடுத்துருக்கான் ஆல்ரெடி இது வந்து ஃபிஃப்டி ஹெட்ஜ் இருக்கு இஃப் ஐ வாண்ட் டு மெயின்டெயின் இஃப் ஐ எக்ஸைட்டட் அட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஹெட்ஜ் வாட் சுட் பி தி வோல்டேஜ் ஃபார் எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் சுட் பி ரிமைண்ட் சேம் எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் ருட் மீஸ் ரிமைண்ட் சேம் மீன்ஸ் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் வி பை எஃப் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் ரிமைண்ட்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் மீன்ஸ் வி பை எஃப் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் தட் ஈக்குவல் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் பை ஃபிஃப்டி ஹண்ட்ரட் பை ஃபிஃப்டி டிவைடட் பை எக்ஸ் பை ஃபார்ட்டி ஓகே ஸோ 520 is x equal to 80 so i want to apply 80 volts at 40 hertz 
for this transformer to get I get in same excitation current same excitation current or that means same excitation depends upon the flux okay ma? so same excitation current means same flux density okay so next question right sir excitation current flux excitation flux current to ninge cholita irukke what is the meaning sir ninge paathina uh, so for understanding this ninge paathina what are the ideal transformer properties ninge paathina so just wait okay so what is ideal transformer properties ideal transformer properties in a winding uh, magnetizing component of current is zero that is uh, you have finite infinite permeability you have infinite permeability second thing is uh, winding losses winding resistance equal to zero winding resistance equal to zero and in a path in a hysteresis loss equal to zero a decurrent loss equal to zero leakage flux is zero leakage flux is zero bh curve is linear bh curve is linear okay so this is bh curve is linear that is current and flux relation is linear bh curve linear means uh, current and flux on the linear so this is the actual uh, ideal transform if i first neglect this uh, property so why magnetizing component of current equal to zero already told you okay what is the reason behind that okay well, so if i have infinite variability if magnetizing current equal to zero how the flux produced in the transformer core okay so now i'm going to first idea ideality neglect for them ideal ideality in violet panda that means i have a finite permeability what i have said that i have a finite permeability first i am taking this finite permeability so if i have a finite permeability means you have a finite amount of the current okay it does not equal to zero if you have infinite permeability i have magnetizing component of current equal to zero if i have finite permeability i have a current so on your path now what is the reason uh, if i have a magnetizing component of current equal to zero i have a flux in the transformer core so on your path now uh, flux equal to flux equal to mmf by reluctance flux equal to mmf by reluctance that equal to uh, reluctance equal to l by mu naught mu r into f infinite permeability so infinite permeability means reluctance equal to zero okay reluctance equal to zero reluctance equal to zero so in a pathing now whatever the load whatever the load flux in the transformer core is constant flux in the transformer core is constant so mmf n into i so turns constant magnetizing component of current so ninga pathina i have to remain i have enakku vandu flux constant value venum I, i want to be i want the flux value constant but uh, but i am getting zero but i am getting zero this is something ninga pathina if i have a zero by zero form if i zero by zero form applying l hospital rule applying l hospital rule you are getting a finite value so limit extends to zero sin x by x it is a zero by zero form what i do here is limit extends to zero cos x by differentiable one so cos zero is one finite similarly if we have a finite value so even magnetizing component of current equal to zero you have finite amount of the flux means so this is the mathematic logic behind this mathematic logic behind this okay so certain finite amount of the flux is zero because it is a zero by permeability is infinity means reluctance is zero that is zero by zero form <coughs> zero by zero form means if you apply l hospital rule you get the finite amount of the flux okay leave that so now already told you okay uh if you want to finite permeability if i have a finite permeability i have a finite current okay so uh this is the transformer core uh this is a transformer core okay i have winding like this i have winding winding like this uh i am giving supply voltage and i take in current to produce flux in the transformer core so you are seeing na actually what is the uh, core made up of it is a made up of crgo steel it is made up of a crgo steel it requires only this is you can see here bh curve of different steels i given already you are seeing na already told you this is a crgo and this is a silicon and this is a mild steel and this is a cast steel 
and this is a, so very small amount of the current this is a flux and this is magnetizing component of current so very small amount of current due to is 2 to 5 percent of the full load current is required so you know, only 2 to 5 percent of the full load current is required to produce a flux in the transformer code only you know, 2 to 5 percent of the full load current is enough to produce the uh, flux in the transformer course for example if i have a 100 amperes what is 2 percent 2 by 100 into 100 okay so 2 amperes is required so 2 amperes is very negligible compared to the 100 amperes okay so 2 amperes is very negligible compared to that of the 100 amperes okay now so this is a crg or steel so it only whenever the supply voltage is given it takes only 2 amperes it takes only 2 amperes okay so i will add the current 2 amperes and add the ground okay it does not require uh, 100 amperes current only require 2 amperes of the current to produce a flux in the transform because of the crg or steel so if you take more than 2 amperes it goes into saturation the magnetic core goes into the saturation okay well, there is a magnetic core in saturation so that's why the uh, full, full current this is the first existing current in the transformer for the production of the flux in the transformer code. this is called magnetizing component of the current so what is the first existing current in the transformer core first existing current first existing current in the transformer code this is the first existing current in the transformer code first existing current in the transformer code this is the magnetizing component this is 2 to 5 percent of the full load current okay so to produce this main field flux whatever the load this flux is remains constant we, we will see we will see whatever the load that for main flux remains that whatever, whatever the flux uh, produced by the magnetizing component of current is constant so in the pathing now so what you see here only two amperes only two amperes if the flux is there you have a leakage flux you have a leakage flux so 2 amperes give very small amount of the flux means very small amount of the flux means 2 amperes the flux is uh, uh, very less to but maximum flux is produced in transformer core what is the leakage flux leakage flux is very small in a particular leakage flux is very small this magnetizing component of current does not produce any leakage flux first first of all knowing in the the magnetizing component of current is required only to produce a flux in the transformer core this magnetizing component of current does not produce any leakage flux this is very less leakage flux is 2 amperes is required to produce a maximum flux means uh, the leakage flux is uh, somewhere in very less okay ma? so leakage flux is very less i am watching okay ma? so uh, once flux present in the transformer code you already path through here yet our object kilo poor and construction details for a chiller game and the history is lost at the current loss for a dipole movements and at uh, the current loss once flux uh, once flux present in the transformer core once flux present in the transformer core you get uh, what what do you get uh, what do you get uh, hysteres is losses and at the current losses uh, okay hysteres is loss and at the current loss at uh, the current losses to have these losses or to take these losses or to supply these losses it draws additional drop additional drop additional component of the current that is uh, iron loss component of the current uh, that is it is one to two percent it is one to two percent okay so to put once flux present in the transformer core you have iron losses in the iron losses supply panna or or in the circulate and the extra core loss circulate panna it takes extra one to two percent of the full load current one to two percent of the full load current so once if you given the supply voltage if you given the supply voltage here okay if you given the supply voltage here under no load it takes no load current only five to six percent of the full load current it consists of two component of the current siren loss component magnetizing component so magnetizing component of current to produce the flux in the transformer core iron loss component to produce the core loss in the transformer core okay so ningapathing now this is flux and this is a loss this is a loss this is a watt component this is a a uh, reactive component this is a watt 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 full component this is a watt less component that means uh, it is active uh, um, core loss component is active component uh, uh this is a reactive component okay so first existing component first existing current is i not equal to this is a combination of uh, magnetizing component of current plus uh, uh this component of current iron loss component of current so this is a two to five percent of the full load current this is one to two percent of the full load current then from this you can uh, you can uh, magnetizing component of current vector is much much greater than iron loss component of the current if you see the wave phasor diagram ninga pathing na already told you this is a supply voltage and this is the flux 
and this is an induced emf e1 and e2 so you can observe the phasor diagram this is magnetizing component you see here in your textbook also the vector of this magnetizing component of very large so this is i naught okay due to magnetizing component of very large you have phi naught is phi naught angle is very large so cos phi naught is phi naught is approximately 70 to 75 degrees cos phi naught is 0.2 point to lag so transformer has a poor no load power factor transformer has a poor no load power factor so i not equal to combination of i magnetizing component i w so what is the magnitude of this i not equal to the so it forms a rectangle uh, right angle triangle i not square equal to i magnetizing component of square i plus okay so magnetizing component of current equal to i not sine phi not I W equal to I naught cos phi naught. If you square and add it, you get only this only, this equation only. Okay. So, निगे पातिंग ना what is the no load no load power? So V one what is the no load? V I naught cos phi naught. What is this supply? V I naught cos phi naught is I W. So V into I W. The no load power is to supply. No load power is to supply iron losses. No load power is to supply iron losses. You can see here it is an active component. It is an active component. Okay, ma. So hope you understand the first violation. First violation. Okay, ma. So first violation. It is a second violation. Once the losses present in the present zone, na I I I violate the third condition. That is, he still says an eddy current loss is. Present. He still says eddy current loss is present. Okay. So finally, I not is finally under no load has a no load current. Only five to six percent. It is very less. Under a calculation, you can neglect this. You can neglect this. Okay. This is a five to six percent of the full load current. I not has a combination of the magnetizing component, iron loss component. It is a reactive component. It is an active component. Or it is a it is a watt full component. It is a watt less component. Okay. So the transformer has a poor no load power factor. Right. So on no load phasor diagram, the core loss component of the current remains in phase with. If you are looking at the core loss component of the current, you can see here is in phase with the supply voltage. is in phase with supply voltage core loss component is core loss component so magnetizing component lacks the supply voltage by 90 degrees so ninga pathinga a no load phasor diagram the core loss component remains in phase with supply voltage for primary induced voltage it is 180 degrees phase ninga pathinga it is ninga pathinga it is 180 degrees so the man uh, it is uh, induced emf the iron loss component is 180 degrees okay now uh, 180 degrees and co uh, for in no load current uh, uh, core flux it is a magnetizing component of current in phase with uh, core flux so no load current no load current is consists of magnetizing component of current magnetizing component plus iron loss component okay next question If sine side voltage source is connected to the power transformer, it's no load current. Actually, if you are seeing now, it's no load current. If you now you have seen the phasor diagram, this is the flux. Uh, this is the voltage. Magnetizing component of vector is very large compared to the iron loss vector. Uh, this is the I not. Okay, so no load current. Uh, lacks is supply voltage. This is of phi, so this is 90. This is 90 minus phi, less than 90, less than 90. So no load current in sine side voltage is connected to the power transfer. No load current is less than 90 degrees, less than 90. If it is on the magnetizing component of current, it is exactly 90 degrees. It is less than 90 degrees. Okay, so sine side voltage less than 90 degrees. So it is uh, lacking voltage less than 90 degrees by less than 90 degrees. Two options. Okay. And uh, you see here, it is rich in third harmonic. Uh, so, you are seeing now. So, B H car. This is the B H car. Okay. Actually, you have a two non-linear T. Saturation non-linear T. Crystallization is non-linear. Just leave it. Okay. So, this is the B H car. Uh, you can clearly see this. You are seeing now. Here, current is uh, here. Current is there. Flux equal to zero. Current is there, flux equal to zero. Here, flux is there, current equal to zero. Here, 
current equal to the flux uh, it is proportional to flux it is proportional to current so here current is there flux equal to zero okay but uh, you can see here current maximum flux maximum occurring simultaneously current maximum flux maximum occurring simultaneously you can see current maximum flux maximum appearing simultaneously but current is zero flux is current flux is g current equal flux is zero current is not equal to zero current equal to zero flux is not equal to g if you apply sinus order you can see here um, let uh, this is uh, uh, already told okay okay so if you see here okay so let uh, this is a flux what happens to current so you know current maximum and flux maximum occurring simultaneously if flux equal to zero current is not zero okay something you have like this okay something it look like this current so if you apply four analysis it is rich in third harmonic component it is rich in third harmonic component okay so it is rich in third harmonic component fundamental it lags is the fundamental so this is the fundamental fundamental lags voltage less than 90 degrees it is uh, the given is a non sinusoidal no load component of current one the non sinusoidal and is rich in third harmonic component it is rich, rich in third harmonic component of the current so let's see here if the transformer could have a material having a high reluctance path but having the same hysteresis loop is employed so in your path you know same hysteresis loop is employed i did not change this hysteresis loop remains same hysteresis loop remains same but material having high reluctance path high reluctance path means flux equal to mmf by reluctance okay so once we know that flux in the transformer core one look at any flux in the transformer core that remains constant flux in the transformer core remains constant that is bh curve bh curve of this core is constant okay so what happens it increase reluctance is increase high reluctance path means high reluctance path means what happens flux is constant current is increases so he is given that bh loop is constant bh loop is uh, bh loop is uh, is same means that flux is constant so whatever the flux produced this is a maximum flux so this is a maximum flux that remains constant this is the maximum flux positive b max so this is a negative b max so on question learning uh, he is given that uh, that uh, bh loop is constant that is bh loop is constant so in your own change that means b max is constant that is b max is constant means flux is constant okay so i want to increase the current so magnetizing component of current will increase what happens magnetizing component of current will increase i m will increase i m is a magnetizing component of current increase okay next question Next question Pati na three phase five have uh, next question Pati na three phase five kv five m the base impedance. So what do you know the Z base equal to so Z base equal to V base by I base. If I multiply so wonga like I base and gala, I multiplied by V base and B base. So V base square by V A base. If I multiply into K into K if you have m so m kilo kilo mva mva cancel so kvb whole square kilo base voltage whole square by mva base okay so 5 into 5 by 5 you get 5 only answer is 5 ohms answer is base impedance he asked okay 5 ohms next question in transformer zero voltage regulation at full load is so, in the voltage regulation i2 ro2 by e2 cos phi 2 plus or minus i2 xo2 uh, e2 sin phi 2 you know very about this voltage regulation so zero voltage regulation possible zero voltage regulation possible if it is minus if it is minus and RO2 equal to XO2 and cos phi 2 equal to sin phi 2. So, either end equal and RO2 equal to XO2 and 
cos phi 2 equal to sin phi 2 ana then the regulation equal to zero regulation equal to zero so minus minus for leading power factor possible so only at leading power factor load possible at leading to leading power factor load so this is the voltage regulation curve so you have zero regulation at uh, uh, in a leading power factor load. leading power factor load okay leading power factor load next question the regulation of the transformer in which ohmic loss is 1% of the output and reactance drop is 5% so in percent means per unit into 100 only than a percent per unit into 100 equal to percentage so simply it is given indirectly in percentage value so if if i think kva is 1 per unit and voltage is also 1 per unit then ohmic loss is one percentage of output that equal to 0 0.01 per unit into power factor is 0 0.8 plus reactance drop is 5 percent means 0 0.05 into 0 0.6 okay so you can 8 by 1000 8 by 1000 plus 6 by 30 by 1000 38 by 1000 into 100 so 10 10 cancel 3.8 percent so regulation is 3.8 percent so next question if you see here first one then no good cater gaga he is given a single phase transformer this is an ies bit okay given okay in a single phase single one kva transformer 200 by ninge pathing na this is so next question pathing na uh, he is given C1 KVA. Ninge pating na very clearly paranga. 1 KVA, uh, 200 by 100 volts, 50 head single phase transformer. 50 head single phase transformer. Following results: open circuit test one do. Panna 100 volts, 20 watts under ko. Short circuit test panel ka 5 amperes, 25 watts. So, you can see the open circuit test, open circuit test, open circuit test, and short circuit test. Open circuit test conduct on, conduct on, in the side. LV side, and you can see open circuit test is conduct on LV side, HV open. HV open. You know very well about this. Short circuit test is conducted on HV side. LV short circuited. LV short circuited. Okay. So, in the short circuit test is conducted on HV side. LV side short circuited. Open circuit test is conducted on LV side. HV side is open. So how can you sir exam hall I one more So one thing you are if you are looking at now uh, under no load open circuit test is conducted open circuit test means it is a no load test open circuit test means it is a no load test so in under no load what are the requirements uh, what are the uh, parameters we have no load current what are the no load current components magnetizing component type iron and components so I want to find this iron loss component one and uh, magnetizing component of current iron loss component and magnetizing component of current i want to find okay uh, this depends upon iron loss on this magnetizing component of current is to produce flux in the transformer core and the iron loss com magnetizing component of current is flux in the transformer core what is the for iron loss component iron loss component once flux present in the transformer core it draws extra current of one to two percent to produce the uh, to supply the iron losses what are the iron losses hysteresis losses plus zd current losses okay so from this iron losses depends upon the flux iron losses depends upon the rated flux what is the rated flux while under no load condition what is the flux in the transformer code that is a rated flux under no load condition under no load condition what is the flux in the transformer code that is rated flux right okay so iron loss depends upon the rated flux so flux depends upon the voltage by frequency ratio that means indirectly depends upon the rated voltage so iron loss depends upon the rated voltage okay so rated voltage is less on lv side or hv side lv side so in the na lv side rated voltage is less i can place the meters 
on HPC we count such amount of meters multi uh, uh, meter or volt meter and our uh, meters range la. okay wa uh, that no uh, uh, that is not that is not that is not that is not so uh, if i considering lv side if i considering lv side okay wa uh, so if i considering lv side ninge pathinga lv side is high current lv side is high current hv side is less current suppose hv side is 10 amperes hv side is 10 amperes lv side is uh, you have 100 amperes okay va ungal high voltage side low current irukum low voltage side high current irukku ungal theriyum let suppose this is lv side hv side and this is lv side what is the no load current 2 to 5 percent of this full load current what is the no load current 2 to 5 percent of the full load current okay so 5 to 6 percent of the full load current 5 to 6 percent of the full load current if we consider total total current total current it is a 5 to 6 percent of the full load current 5 by 100 into 10 amperes 10 10 0.5 amperes i can can i measure this point point five amperes three meters okay 100 amperes 5 by 100 into 100 i can measure this i can measure this this 5 amperes i can't accurately measure this 5 and 5 amperes so i want to place i want to conduct open circuit test i place the meters and all the things equipments in lv side I open the hv side now open the hv side open the okay so for short circuit test short circuit test you can high current short circuit is high current high current is high current is high current is high current is lv side lv side is high current is high current is short current is high current okay so yeah, HV, lv winding i short circuit where i place the meters on lv side i place the meters on lv side okay ba? so for producing high high short circuit current i don't require full voltage i require only two to five percent of the full load voltage okay so for producing the rated short circuit current in the short circuit test i put i have i require only two five two to five percent of the rated voltage okay ba? suppose uh, high voltage is uh, suppose high voltage is 11 kb i i apply only 2 to 5 percent of the rated voltage 2 by 100 into 11 kb this is enough i can require meter this type of meters 2 to 5 2 to 100 percent of this lkb uh, 11 kb meter 11 kb very much uh, voltage is required to produce rated short circuit current okay right and the question only put in the open circuit test to yellow chicken lv said marandu po maati ila ila ipo marandu po maati okay confusion here kar magga panna confusion ondur magga panna di karna concept concept mind lo chikta concept mind lo chikta matter over okay it is assumed that no load components are equally divided what is given no load comp loss components so what is no load loss hysteresis law, iron losses what is iron losses hysteresis plus a current losses this is totally of 20 watts that means hysteresis was equally divided 10 watts and a current losses 10 watts right now same transformer same transformer our test is content same transformer at 40 h 40 h so carefully observe pananga carefully observe pannunga open circuit is conduct on hv side lv side is open short circuit is conduct on lv side hv side short circuited but uh, here conducted but i want this uh, i want to conduct open circuit on hv side lv side lv side short circuit on hv side so ninga pathinga 200 by 100 volts that means 200 one the half arch 100 volts that is turns ratios 200 by 100 means turns ratio is n1 by n2 that is turns ratio is 2 transformation ratio is 1 by 2 okay ma? so the one circuit one new carrier volt hv side na lv side yaval aagadu m by volt aagadu yaval aagadu m by volt 80 volts is on lv side hv side you have 160 volts means what happens to lv side 80 volts we know very well about that hysteresis is loss equal to eta b max power x into f into v eddy current loss equal to k into b max square into f square into t square eddy current loss equal to k into b max square into f into t square so one thing you observe here so what is here 100 by 100 volts 100 by 50 how much to b, b max by v by f inge 80 by 40 2 so 
b max is constant b max is constant why v by f my v, 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 v by f ratio is constant so b max is constant b max is constant hysteresis loss is proportional to frequency a d current loss is proportional to frequency square okay so a d current loss 1 by a d current loss 2 equal to frequency 1 square by frequency 2 square a d current loss is 10 watts a d current loss equal to this is 50 square 50 into 50 this is 40 into 40 right okay so 25 by 16 so a d current loss 2 equal to 16 into 10 by 25 5 5 5 2 so 16 to 32 by 5 5 6 36 point 4 watts a d current loss hysteresis loss is proportional to frequency you can see here hysteresis loss is proportional to the frequency hysteresis loss 1 by hysteresis loss 2 equal to frequency 150 divided by 40 this is 10 watts hysteresis loss 2 equal to 10 into 40 by 50 5 twos. this is 8 watts so total iron loss equal to 6.4 plus 8 that is 14.4 watts what is iron loss one iron loss w1 is 14.4 watts i can directly go for this let me check for eddy current losses so ninge pathinga eddy current losses eddy current ninge pathinga short circuit test is to be conducted on short circuit test is to be conducted on hv side okay va so ninge pathinga lv side 10 amperes means hv side evlo agudu so i2 by i1 equal to n1 by n2 same okay so this is a 2 by 1 uh, what happens i1 is how much நீங்கள் பார்த்தின் LV side LV side வந்து 10 amperes so LV side வந்து 10 amperes okay வா so இது 10 amperes நான் இங்கு எவலாகுது primary வந்த 5 amperes so or ninge paarenga i2 by i1 ungalku enna theriyum i2 by i1 so inga voltage voltage onnu kudukla so i2 by i1 equal to n1 ange onnume kudukla nala half kammi agum adu mattum namakku theriyudhu 5 amperes okay va so ed current loss copper loss is depends upon the current so 5 inge 5 amperes idhukku munadi evlo irukku 5 amperes 25 watts na ipo kuda 5 amperes ku 25 watts na okay so this is the question very very important question is ies uh, 2001 mark uh, two marks what a wipe the question okay uh, right uh, okay uh, so you have any doubt uh, uh, type on the parang that's doubt in the comment box okay uh, thank you hi friends welcome to game at gate is education so let's see the first question in the good trigger f of 1 is 1 and f dash of 1 is 2 then the value of the y limit extends to 1 root of f of x minus 1 by root x minus 1 so if you see here limit x tends to 1 root of f of x minus 1 by root of root of x minus 1 okay so when you get root f of 1 minus 1 by root 1 minus 1 so f of 1 value la, root 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 by 0 0 by 0 format ok so 0 by 0 format la ondha ningen enna pannu l hospital rule apply pannu l hospital rule ok so ningen enna pannu differentiate pannu limit x tends to 1 uh, numerator and denominator differentiate pannu adu kapar limit apply pannu ok ma? so half into f of x half minus 1 is the differentiation of this into f dash of x okay minus 0 divided by half into x half minus 1 into derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of 1 is 0 so ninge paathina limit x tends to 1 limit x tends to 1 half uh, f of x minus half 
into f dash of x by half into x power minus half into 1. Okay, so you can see limit extends to 1 half cancel I in the half in the half cancel I x power minus 1 the root x so root f of x into f dash of x substitute pannunga root 1 into f of 1 into f dash of 1 so f of 1 now 1 f dash of 1 2 so root 1 by 1 into 2 that equal to 2 is the answer 2 is the answer okay ninga pathina so let let do in another method okay va? so another method la uh, so limit extends to 1 limit extends to 1 root of f of x minus 1 by root x plus 1 root x minus 1 so na enna pandre root f of x plus 1 root of f of x plus 1 root x plus 1 so into root x plus 1 by root f of x plus 1 okay va? so this cancel i pay final one the other okay va? so i pan inga pathing na limit extends to 1 so clearly paranga limit extends to 1 so you get f of x minus 1 by x minus 1 into root x plus 1 by root f of x plus 1 okay so one value la. so one value la. f of 1 f of 1 equal to 1 okay so ninge na limit extends to 1 f of x minus f of 1 by x minus 1 into limit extends to 1 limit extends to a into b equal to limit extends to into 1 into a into limit extends to 1 into b okay so root x plus 1 by root f of x plus 1 okay wa? so the uh, so limit extends to a will get the limit extends to a limit extends to a f of x minus f of a by x minus a in the formula f dash of a okay wa? so if you can see the formula then the limit extends to a f of x minus f of a by x minus a equal to f dash of a this is dy by dx so in the path limit extends to 1 f of x minus f of 1 by x minus 1 okay wa? so simply i am writing like this so limit extends to 1 is f dash of 1 f dash of 1 limit extends to 1 root x root x plus 1 by root f of x plus 1 okay so f dash of 1 1 the render limit extends to 1 root 1 is 1 plus 2 okay if you think root f of 1 is uh, x root of f of 1 is 1 plus 1 2 2 2 cancel answer is true okay so differentiable formula and limit extends to a f of x minus minus f of a by x minus a that equal to f dash of a so this is the formula okay right so in the approach normal normal students for approach okay so this is another approach you can go with it okay next question so next question pathing na the value i equal to n get the value i equal to integral 0 to infinity t into e power minus 2t sin t dt okay wa? so let's see here uh, we'll get another laplace transform of laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s that equal to so i am considering unilateral transform if a bilateral transform is if a minus infinity to infinity so 0 to infinity f of t e power minus s t dt so laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s that equal to 0 to infinity okay 0 to infinity f of t into e power minus s t dt if a comparison is 0 to infinity 0 to infinity t into sin t t into sin t e power minus 
2t dt. 2t dt that equal here f of t over. So this is f of t that equal to Laplace transform of f of t. Okay, this is equal to Laplace transform of f of t that equal to f of s at s equal to 2. So you can see s is replaced by 2 here. Okay, so Laplace transform of f of t that equal to f of s at s equal to 2. Okay, wow, it is equal to 2. So, first of all, if you t into sin t Laplace transform, then you can matter over. Sin t Laplace over, sin t Laplace over 1 by 1 plus s square. s square. So, t into f of t Laplace transform, t into f of t Laplace transform, minus 1 whole power n into t power n f of t. Laplace transform of t power n f of t equal to minus 1 power n into d by ds of f of s. Okay. So, you can see t power n, n equal to 1. So, minus 1 into d by ds of f of t, t power n f of t. So, t power n into f of t. Okay. So, if Laplace transform of t is sin t, 1 by s, 1 by 1 plus s square. So, minus 1 into 1 plus s square into 0 minus minus 1 into 2s by 1 plus s square whole square okay so if you think now so you get 2s by 1 plus s square whole square okay so 2s by 1 plus 1 plus s square whole square at s equal to 2 2 into 2 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 whole square so 2 into 2 plus 1 plus 2 square 4 whole square that equal to 4 by 5 square that equal to 4 by 25 is the answer 4 by 25 is the I am comparing this now one way panel paranga and up simple na in a formula Laplace transform theory Laplace transform equal to Laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s Laplace transform of f of t on the f of s that equal to 0 to infinity f of t into e power minus s t dt. Okay, wow. so this is equal to f of s but s value n t at s equal to 2. So what is f of t? f of t by the t into e power minus t t. So this is Laplace transform. Laplace transform of t into f of t. Laplace transform of t into uh, t power n into f of t some function Laplace equal to minus 1 power n into d by ds of f of s. So, properties of Laplace transform is integral is here. Okay, wa? next question. So, next question, Papa. Next question, part in the function f of x is defined at mod f of x equal to mod x minus 3 for x greater than or equal to 1 and x less than 1 1 by 4 x square minus 3 by 2 x plus 13 by 4 that is x uh, for x less than 1 so continuous at x equal to 1 na, continuous at x equal to 3 are differentiable at x equal to na, all of the above so for continuity function limit x tends to a plus equal to limit x tends to a minus sorry limit x tends to a plus f of x equal to limit x tends to a minus f of x equal to f of a limit x tends to a plus into f of x equal to limit x tends to a minus of f of x equal to f of a then it is a continuous function okay wa? so a plus in a plus minus in a so in a thing uh, this is uh, something point a okay a plus means a greater than value a minus means a less than value okay wa? so this is a point so a plus value means this is going right side a minus means going left side okay wa? similarly in the last uh, uh, in the first question bother here so differentiation is given by limit x tends to a f of a f of x minus f of a by x minus a okay wa? so for the derivative differentiable limit x tends to a plus this function this function equal to limit x tends to 
a minus this function okay it should be equal so a plus n na enna theriyum a minus n na ungal theriyum a plus n na right hand side a minus n na left hand side so this is the continuous and differentiability of the uh conditions okay va limit extends to right or left hand derivative right hand derivative must be equal to f of a uh, when it is a continuous so left hand derivative equal to right hand derivative then it is a differentiable right so ninga mod x minus 3 function kuduthirukaga so mod x minus 3 function meaning enna na pathinga uh actually mod x equal to x for x greater than 0 equal to minus x for x less than 0 simple ninga paathina for example mod of x minus a irukku laya so mod of x minus a irukku laya suppose for example uh, so let consider this so let idu vandu a function at x equal to a okay so at x at x equal to a before you have a negative slope after you have positive slope so ninga paathina this is the representation of the mod function so for x equal to 0 ninga paathina at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 this is at x equal to 0 you have uh, negative slope here and you have a positive slope here you have a positive slope here so this is the mod x function before point here before at that point you have a negative slope after that point ungalku positive slope irukum okay va so ninga pathina suppose ave mod x minus 3 kuduthirukanga mod x minus 3 kuduthirukanga le so ninga pathina at x equal to 3 below at x less than 3 you have a negative slope and above x greater than 3 you have a positive slope so this is the meaning of that okay va so this is the meaning of that so ipo paarenga so for x less than 1 what is the question given 1 by 4 x square for x for x less than 1 x less than 1 evlo kuduthirukanga 1 by 4 x square 1 by 4 x square minus 3 by 2 x plus 13 by 4 minus 3 by 2 x plus 13 by 4 13 by 4 now for x greater than for x greater than or equal to 1 so for x greater than or equal to 1 you get ninga paranga for x greater than greater than or equal to 1 okay so for x greater than or equal to 1 mod x minus 3 function so for x greater than or equal to 1 okay so for x greater than or equal to 1 so inge 1 irukku let's see here inge 1 irukku okay so for 1 less than or equal to x less than 3 you have a negative slope you have a negative slope for x greater than 3 you have a positive slope so the meaning in an apart in a in a part of the morning about that for x greater than or equal to 0 for x greater than or equal to 0 in a part of the x equal to x for x less than 0 minus x for like x less than 0 so for a minus x for x less than 0 for uh, positive x for x greater than 0 similarly inge paathina adha enna solirukam paarenga simple x inge paarenga so x inge work 3 idu function so x equal to 3 function idu okay va x equal to the mod x of minus 3 function idu so mod x of minus 3 is uh, equal to x greater than 1 so x greater than or equal to 1 1 length so 1 less than or equal to x less than 3 you get minus of x minus 3 for x greater than or equal to 3 you get plus of x minus 3 so for example for example for example i have a mod of x minus 4 E mod of x minus 4 for x greater than or equal to 2 mod of x minus 4 for x greater than or equal to 2 that implies you have a ninga pathinga na ungalku inda point 4 kitta this is the ungalku modulus function okay so modulus function ninga pathinga before uh, below less than 4 below uh, below 4 below 4 ungalku negative function negative slope above 4 ninga pathinga at this point at this point you have a negative slope and you have a positive slope ungalku 
below at this point below the, this point ungalku negative slope and positive slope irukku but it starts from in the function in the in the in the mod function enga end start agudhu rendu la end start agudhu enga end start agudhu rendu la end start agudhu so i can represent this as minus of x minus 4 for x less than 4 less than or equal to 2 plus x plus 4 plus of x minus 4 for x greater than or equal to 4 So, you can see the representation of this function. Now, you can add the mod function to the mod function. So, for example, I will tell you the mod function. So, for example, I will tell you the mod function. Suppose, mod x minus 6. Mod of x minus 6. For x greater than or equal to 1. For x greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So, you can see, I have, at this point, I have a modulus. At this point, I have a modulus. That implies up to 6. A negative slope again, positive slope. positive slope so ninga pathina it starts x starts from 1 so in the function vandu enak 1 la irundhuk so minus of x minus 6 for x less than 6 for less than or equal to 1 x plus x minus 6 for x greater than or equal to 6 hope you understand how to re represent the mod x function in the limits okay va so i purinjichu nanikira ipo paarenga so ninga pathina evlo kuduthiruka x my mod of x minus 3 kuduthiruka mod of x minus 3 kuduthiruka okay va so uh, x minus 3 x minus 3 minus of x minus 3 for x for x less than 3 less than or equal to 1 plus x plus x minus 3 for x greater than or equal to 3 so this is the functions representation okay va so x less than 1 one the in the value x 1 less than x less than 3 one the in the value x greater than 3 one the uh, my plus f plus of x minus 3 so the simple the representation inga pathina so in the one length start agudile in the one inga 3 irukku so in the one length ungalku varudha negative slope and you have a positive slope you have a positive slope So, இந்த மாதிரி ஃபங்க்ஷன் வந்தால் நீங்கள் ஈஸியாக ரிப்ரஸன்ட் பண்ணணும் இனிமேல் ஓகேவா ஸோ டவுட் எல்லாம் கிளியர் ஆகிப்போச்சா ஓகேவா நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இங்கே பாருங்கள் இப்போ வந்து கண்டினியூஸ் அட் கொஸ்டினில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கண்டினியூஸ் அட் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் ஸோ கண்டினியூஸ் அட் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கண்டினியூஸ் அட் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லிமிட் லிமிட் எக்ஸ்டென்ஸ் டு ஒன் மைனஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு லிமிட் எக்ஸ்டென்ஸ் டு ஒன் மைனஸ் இன்டு எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு limit extends to 1 plus into f of x equal to f of a rendu equal ana ungalku vandu continuity function okay va so 1 minus 1 minus means left sided 1 plus means right side so 1 minus this is a left hand limit 1 plus is right hand limit 1 plus okay va so one length jaasti apodu idu one length kammi apodu so one length mela podu idu one length kammi apodu ninga paathina idu a a plus means a length mela poi ta irukku a minus means a length kammi aita irukku okay va so a less than a greater a plus a minus means less than a a plus means greater than a idu indication a minus means less than a a plus means greater than a okay va right so ipo paarenga limit extends to 1 minus evala limit extends to 1 minus evala pa 1 minus evala ku so less than 1 x 1 minus means it is less than 1 so less than 1 evala 1 by 4 x square minus 3 by 2x plus 13 by 4 inge vandu ninga one substitute pannunga one substitute limit extends to 1 minus equal so one substitute pannunga 1 by 4 minus 3 by 2 plus 13 by 4 inge one substitute pannunga limit extends to 1 minus means less than 1 ange vandu one substitute pannunga so ninga paathina எவ்வளோ வருது தேர்ட்டீன் பை ஃபோர் தானே அது ஓகே தேர்ட்டீன் பை ஃபோர் ஒன் பை ஃபோர் மைனஸ் த்ரீ பை டூ எக்ஸ் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா திஸ் இஸ் மைனஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஒன் பை ஃபோர் மைனஸ் சிக்ஸ் பை ஃபோர் ப்ளஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் பை ஃபோர் ஸோ தேர்ட்டீன் மைனஸ் சிக்ஸ் எவ்வளோ தேர்ட்டீன் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபோர்டீன் மைனஸ் சிக்ஸ் எயிட் 8 by 4 equal to 2. Okay, right? So, 13 plus, 13 plus 1, 14. 14 minus 6, 8. 8 by 4 equal to 2. So, limit extends to 1 plus. Limit extends to 1 plus means greater than 1. So, greater than 1. This is right hand limit. I want to apply right hand limit. So, minus of 
x minus 3. So, you can do 1 substitute. Pannunga. Direct 1 is 1, 1 ilay, limit extends to 1. So, 1 minus 3 that equal to minus of minus 2. So, that equal to 2. So, you can do limit extends to 1 minus equal to limit extends to 1 plus. Okay, wa? so that equal to that equal to 2 so it is continuous at x equal to 1 it is continuous at x equal to 1 continuous at x equal to 1 next to option in a get first option on the continuous the range about okay wa? so first option on the continuous at x equal to 1 okay wa? so next to pathing now next question next to pathing now at continuous at x equal to 3 continuous at x equal to 3 papma so continuous at x equal to 3 papma so limit extends to ninge paathina limit extends to 3 minus 3 minus that equal less than 3 so less than 3 enga irukku enga irukku okay ma? so limit extends to 3 that equal to minus of x minus 3 that equal to evara substitute pannu 3 substitute pannu limit extends to 3 dane limit extends to 3 okay ma? so minus of 3 minus 3 that equal to 0 Yola, 3 minus 3 that equal to 0 okay so if a limit extends to limit extends to 3 plus 3 plus that equal to greater than 3 greater than 3 plus of x minus 3 substitute panama 3 minus 3 yola, 0 so limit extends to 3 minus equal to limit extends to 3 plus extends to 3 plus that equal to that equal to 0 so that is continuous continuous at x equal to 3 so second option is satisfied second option is satisfied okay ma? so second option go to correct okay ma? so moon are differentiable differentiable so paparanga so differentiable pathing na sorry so differentiable pathing na in get 3 okay ma? so this is at one length start of the mod function in get all over the minus of x minus 3 over the in get part in x plus 3 over the okay ma? so differentiable part in a limit extends to a f of x minus f of a by f of x minus a this is equal to dy by dx differentiable than a plus and similarly a minus work check on so in get part in a 3 plus in give over 3 minus in give over so 3 plus can over the x plus 3 over the 3 minus can over the minus of x minus 3 over the so derivative upon a derivation upon now 1 a derivative upon now minus 1 derivation of x plus 3 over derivative of x plus 3 over but d by dx of d by dx of x plus 3 over 1 d by dx of minus of x minus x plus x minus 3 over minus 1 so limit extends to a plus this function is not equal to limit extends to a minus so derivation at a plus so derivation at 1 plus 3 plus c not equal to derivative at 3 minus so it is not a differentiable at x equal to 1 i'm going to x equal to 1 get ana not differentiable at x equal to 1 so sorry x equal to 3 so it is not differentiable not differentiable at x equal to 3 not differentiable at x equal to 3 in the x equal to 3 plus differentiate panna 1 or the at x equal to minus 3 panna differentiable minus 1 or the so it is not differentiable at x equal to 2 3 3 so next so x equal to 1 baranga so x less than 1 so in a pathing in a x less than 1 x less than 1 uh, okay 1 less a uh, derivative less than uh, 1 minus 1 the x less than 1 1 plus 1 the x greater than 1 so 1 minus n over the, this function over the, so 1 by 4 into 2x minus 3 by 2 substitute panning limit extends to 1 1 by 4 into 2 into 1 minus 3 by 2 half minus 3 by 2 that equal to minus 1 by 2 by 2 that equal to minus 1 1 plus x greater than 1 means either or the so less than 1 1 minus means less than 1 1 plus 1 so minus of x minus 3 a differentiate pannunga minus 1 varudhu so 1 minus limit der derivative at 1 minus equal to 1 plus derivative at 1 minus equal to 1 plus 
so minus 1 equal to minus 1 so it is differentiable at x equal to 1 at differentiable at x equal to 1 okay wa? so differentiable at x equal to 1 so answer is all of the above so ninge paathina it is not it is not differentiabling at it is not differentiable at x equal to 3 that means mod x function varudhu paathinga so mod x function enge varudho so mod at, at mod function it is not differentiable so mod function is not a differentiable mod function is a continuous function mod function is a continuous function mod function is not a differentiable function so ninge paathina one mod function enge end start aagudhu ninge paathina mod function one length start aagudhu one length three length x greater than three so one length start aagudhu mod function so from this area the it is not differentiable below this differentiable below this area it is differentiable so below that area differential mod function mod function enge end start aagudhu one length greater than 1 mod function start agudhu ange ange mod function vandu differentiable okay va so mod function is a is not a dif, is a dif, is not a differentiable function mod function is not a differentiable function it is a continuous function idu note panni vechukanga hope you ninga vandu inni inni me calculus la indha mari question kudutha ninga easy ah solve panikiren nanikiren so next video la inna some concept oda paapom thank you friends hi friends welcome to kmet gates education ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லெட்ஸ் இது ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் த போல் ஜீரோ கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் ஆஃப் ஏ ஃபேஸ் லீட் காம்பன்சேட்டர் இஸ் எ கிவன் பை ஃபேஸ் லீட் காம்பன்சேட்டர் இஸ் எ கிவன் கிவன் பை ஸோ நம்ம கிட்ட என்னென்ன காம்பன்சேட்டர்ஸ் இருக்கும்னு பார்ப்போம் ஸோ லீட் காம்பன்சேட்டர் லேக் காம்பன்சேட்டர் லீட் லேக் காம்பன்சேட்டர் லேக் லீட் காம்பன்சேட்டர் okay so these are the compensator we have so ninga pathinga na first of all lead compensator lead compensator is a high pass filter it is a high pass filter lag compensator is a low pass filter so if you see the response it going high value okay going uh, positive and going like this you have low pass filter going to zero okay so this is a low pass filter the response you like ninga uh, paathinga the response is clear sir epid sir remember pandrad how to remember paathinga how many letters are there in lead compensator 1 2 3 4 how many letters in high pass filter 1 2 3 4 so four letters four letters high pass filter this is uh, three letters three letters so low pass filter okay lead lag compensator lead lag compensator first of all high pass filter then after low pass filter what happens to lead lag band pass filter first of all lead high pass and then go to low pass mix them okay adukku apram paathina lag low pass filter low pass filter is something like this and high pass filter this is a band stop filter band pass band stop filter okay so these are the uh, filters what is a lead filter what is a lead compensator what is a lag compensator what is a lead lag compensator what is a lag lead compensator if at all one mark will come ninga vandha answer pananum okay you have to answer this next you can see here you can see here uh, that it is a positive going so angle is positive i am giving for remembrance for a pause for state exams and psus okay i am not a, we are not we are not writing theory exam okay so here angle is going downwards you can see here the response is going downwards downward means angle negative here the response is going upwards angle positive high pass filter going up angle is positive and uh, here angle is negative okay angle is negative so you we have one in control system ninge paathina in control system we have pole zeros in numerator and poles in denominator zeros gives the positive angle poles if you comes to numerator it gives negative angle okay if i come in one order so zero gives the angle zero gives the angle positive 
poles also gives positive angle but if it goes to the numerator it will gives negative angle that means poles gives the negative angle okay so ninga pathinga na let's see s plus 1 by s plus 2 what is the angle for this what is the angle for this this is of a angle tan inverse omega by 1 what is this angle angle tan inverse omega by 2 Uh, if i go to numerator angle tan inverse omega minus angle tan inverse omega 2 you understand that so the pole gives negative angle when the denominator goes denominator angle gives the numerator angle okay so that means indirectly poles gives if i take the zero as a reference for poles also then poles gives a negative angle okay va well, if a zero reference vacha only ella numerator la kondu pan denominator pura i am sending denominator to numerator then the poles gives negative angle zeros gives the positive angle okay so uh, now you tell <coughs> angle positive means zero angle negative means pole angle negative means pole for high pass filter for high pass filter angle is positive angle is positive means zero is nearer to the origin zero is nearer to the origin and then after you have a pole this is a lead compensator lead compensator for lack compensator angle is going negative angle is response is going downwards angle is going negative angle is negative means pole will come into picture so pole is nearer to the imaginary axis this is sigma j omega axis pole is nearer to the imaginary axis okay so this is a lack compensator next next come to lead compensator lead compensator lead lack compensator lead lead is how much high pass filter high pass filter means angle positive angle positive means zero will come into picture here and pole here adukapram pathina lag lag is going downwards angle is negative pole and you have a zero here this is a lead lag compensator next uh, lag lead first lag lag means angle going negative angle negative means it will be pole and it will be zero again you have zero and pole lag hope you understand so ninga paarenga first of all what is the question given lead compensator lead compensator is a high pass filter high pass filter goes going upwards angle positive angle positive means zero will come to the nearer to the imaginary axis this will be the answer this is a lead compensator pole is nearer angle is negative angle is negative means option a is a lack compensator okay lack compensator last one is a al pass filter last one is a al pass filter right so this is a non minimum phase system right next question next question pathinga na a differentiator has a transfer function whose phase a differentiator y of t equal to d by dt of x of t this is a differential function differentiator apply laplace transform y of s that equal to s into x of s okay so what is the transfer function y of s by s this is a differentiated transfer function so what is magnitude y of s what is y of s by x of s j omega what is magnitude y of s by x of s it is a uh, omega what is phase angle what is phase angle phase angle equal to minus 90 degrees so if you omega equal to 0 i where is magnitude is increase this is magnitude omega i increase in the omega what happens to magnitude magnitude is increasing linearly magnitude is increasing linearly what happens to phase phase is uh, this is if i take zero this is minus 90 degrees this is constant okay so amplitude increase linearly with frequency option c is the answer option c is the answer next question so next question pathinga na the maximum phase lead of the compensator kettu kaga uh let's see here uh, standard transfer function model of the leader lag compensator is 1 plus tau s by 1 plus alpha tau s this is a standard transfer function model of the compensator 1 plus tau s by 1 plus alpha tau s okay see here 
1 plus time constant into s by 1 plus alpha into time constant s if alpha less than 1 it is a lead compensator if alpha greater than 1 it is a lag compensator okay alpha less than 1 it is a lead compensator alpha lag greater than 1 it is a lag compensator the frequency at which maximum phase lag or phase lead occurs is 1 by time constant into root alpha <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry the frequency <coughs> Uh, the frequency next pathing uh, the frequency at which maximum phase lag or phase lead phase lag the frequency at which maximum phase lag or phase lead occurs the maximum at which the frequency at which maximum phase lag phase lag or phase lead occurs is 1 by time constant into root alpha okay next you can see here uh, the phase the angle at which maximum phase angle or phase phase lead occurs the angle at which phase ang phase lag occurs is sine inverse of 1 minus alpha by 1 plus lag occurs lead occurs at sine inverse of alpha minus 1 by alpha plus 1 okay so idu matra na vachukitta podum lead lag compensator is very easy okay ninga pathina let check this is a lead or lag compensator 1 plus 0.5s 1 plus 0.05s compare with standard transfer function 1 plus tau s by 1 plus alpha tau s tau is 0.5 alpha tau is 0.05 so alpha equal to 0 0.05 by 0 0.5 5 by 100 by 5 by 10 1 by 10 that equal to 0 0.1 that is alpha less than 1 satisfied it is a lead compensator lead compensator okay the frequency at which maximum frequency omega frequency omega radians per second 1 by time constant root alpha what is 1 by time constant 0 0.5 what is alpha alpha equal to 0 0.1 0 0.1 alpha equal to alpha equal to 0 0.1 okay so root of uh, 10 by 5 root 10 that equal to root 10 by 5 root 10 by 5 okay 1 by time constant in the time constant equal to 0.5 alpha tau equal to 0 0.05 tau equal to alpha equal to point, uh, 0.05 by 0.5 5 5 cancel correct then I have 10 by 100 1 by 10 point 0.1 uh, 10 by 1 by frequency maximum frequency 1 by time constant root alpha 1 by time constant developer time constant on the point 0.5 root alpha on the point 0.1 10 by 5 uh, root 10 so 2 root 10 I am not getting answer so none of the answer is correct check it this so none of the answer is correct okay so for lead so for, uh, here uh, for adjustment panikanga phi max of a lead compensator pathing na sign inverse of one minus lag pathing na sign inverse reverse port hai, okay wa? phi max lead equal to sin inverse of 1 minus alpha by 1 plus alpha phi max lag equal to sin inverse of alpha minus 1 by alpha plus 1 okay answer is right so option d is the correct answer option d is the correct answer now 10 root 2 by 2 root 10 worth okay so the answer particular so next question pathing a lead compensator used for a loop controller 
such that uh, lead compensator we know very that so you know, standard form is you know, 1 plus tau s you know, 1 plus tau s by 1 plus alpha tau s formula so k into uh, 1 plus you know, k into uh, tau equal to 1 by a alpha tau equal to 1 by b so he gave given lead compensator lead compensator alpha less than 1 so alpha into 1 by a equal to 1 by b alpha equal to a by b alpha less than 1 a by b less than 1 a less than b is the lead compensator option a is the correct answer next question so let's see the next question transfer function of uh, or function compensator kuduthirukaga if it is a lead compensator what is the value of a and b okay so uh, what i said that oh, standard form is 1 plus tau s by 1 plus alpha tau s write on that form 1 plus s by a divided by 1 plus s by b uh, you have a in this common and you have a b in this common okay so tau is 1 by a alpha tau is 1 by b okay and you can see here alpha 1 by a equal to 1 by b alpha in equal to a by b it should be a lead compensator a by b less than 1 a less than b so a is 1 b is 2 it is correct answer a greater than 3 it is wrong answer a minus 3 a one the a is less than b uh, a is uh, this is not option so this can be a equal to minus 3 a less than b a less than b this will not come into picture okay you take uh, let let take uh, a equal to minus 3 so minus 3 is minus 1 greater than minus 3 you should be a less than b okay it will be satisfies okay then you satisfies okay why okay, okay wa? so power the paranga a into 1 plus s by a b into 1 plus s by b tau on the 1 by a alpha tau on the 1 by b alpha on the a by b for lead compensator a less than b okay right so you go to a less than b okay right so okay in the end of 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 the phase of which lead compensator is maximum is 1 by time constant root alpha 1 by time constant root alpha so if you go if you substitute pannunga, the transfer function remains same up you can see the standard formula varna. so just wait so you have doubt on the chile. so you have minus 3 minus 1 go to the let us substitute this 1 plus 1 plus a s plus 1 by s plus 2 okay so you have to see 1 plus s 2 into 1 plus s by 2 tau equal to 1 alpha tau equal to 1 by 2 alpha equal to 1 by 2 okay the frequency is 1 by time constant root alpha 1 by root 1 by 2 root 2 so omega equal to root 2 radians per second it satisfies okay option a option a satisfies let's check for uh, this s minus 3 by s minus 1 okay so it is not in the standard transfer function model you can neglect this but we trial this okay so 3 into minus 3 into okay minus uh, uh, 3 into 3 into s by 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 plus s minus 1 plus s if you take common minus 3 minus 1 1 minus s by 3 1 minus s okay right so tau is minus 1 by 3 alpha tau is minus 1 alpha equal to uh, you get 3 1 by time constant 1 by 3 root alpha 3 minus 1 it does not satisfy so, okay so option is a standard transfer function path you have to get this standard model okay option is option a and this okay so hope you understand the lag and lead compensator problems thank you so put it in now friends share